So, uh, you guys know how to catch a squirrel? You just climb in a tree and act like a nut. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome to another edition of the A Fool Podcast. This is number 109. Uh, we're back again. I'm Earl, Mardi Gras Man 23. We're in Joey's basement at the train somewhere. He's over there. I did it right. Hey! <laughs> Elbow down in the corner, and he is back at work, so hopefully he doesn't get called tonight. And down Not on call. No. Yes, that is Brian. Uh, uh, battery powered bricks. This is his also anniversary. Call, hoping and not to get a, a service call. Oh. He's not an electrician, but he plays one on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's, it's just think about it. We were here in this exact spot a hundred weeks ago. Wow. Doing this. <laughs> and look at us now. Look wow. at us now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, you're a, a famous YouTuber now. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was more famous, like six months ago, but oh. it is what it is. <laughs> yeah. No, so this is what happens is, you know, you get those times when people recognize you in a place other than a Lego convention and they might want your autograph, but later as you progress on YouTube, you run into somebody that recognizes you and you're so shocked. You want their autograph so you can prove that they're real. <laughs> right. Yeah. I should have got that kid's <laughs> autograph. <laughs> But that's um, been really great. That was at a uh, Bricks and Minifigs for anybody okay. that missed that story. Um, we finally got one in my city. I've uh, pretty much been going every week. I left empty-handed once, and I was kind of in a hurry that day. Hmm. But generally, that uh, bulk bin you can just dig through, I always find stuff that I want to take home. With Treasures. Me. Yeah. <laughs> I always imagine those being picked over, but I guess if you get there when they dump it out, you might. Well, the first day I went, I was at a, as a founding member, I was one of the first people in the public to be able to get in there. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's the day. And I did a video of that whole bag, pulling all the stuff out. Yeah. Um, awesome. Since then it's been you know, no real treasures, but just parts, you know, mm -hmm. it's, it's so much quicker than going on um, Brooklyn. Like the mm -hmm. other day I wanted one by one black bricks. It's a very basic thing. It's a little hard to find in that bin. Uh, but I also had a couple guys there that were helping me find them. I met up with uh, Julian Bricksmith. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Keith Strawbricks and um, Brick Jams, uh, Jamie. Yeah. Jamie. Uh, whenever they're in town, uh, they hit me up. And we uh, used to meet up at the Lego store. But this past time, we met up at uh, yeah. Bricks and Minifigs. And we'll kind of like, what are you looking for? Are you looking for this? And we'll make little piles for each other and that kind of thing. So it works out That's pretty good. Cool. That's cool. How's, nice. how's Julian doing? All right. Uh, seemed all right. Oh, we were just digging for Lego. We didn't really. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was good. Yeah. He contacted me the other day, or, or he, yeah, he texted me and showed me a, or asked me about a uh, the Lego train. So the the Lego truck that just released, he he said he thinks that would make a very good train. And I said, well, oh. thanks for that idea. <laughs> <laughs> So <laughs> I don't know. I have to I have to buy a couple copies of that though. There's always always projects. So many there's so many projects I'd love to get to one day, but yeah. We'll see. Time, <laughs> money, and space. Your trace collection has grown somewhat since the last time you were on. Yes. That's for, that's for certain. I want to do a video um just kind of going through all the the trains. I think that that could be a good video if I did it right and had a good thumbnail. Right. Um, just going through the entire collection and and uh, I guess I couldn't it? leave all the videos because there'd be too many. But <laughs> could you do it in chronological order? I don't. Yeah, I don't know what order I do them in. And and you know, like a fit, like a lot of the locomotives are are mocks or mods. You know, so it wouldn't be like year released for sets or anything like that. Right. And even the sets are generally pretty modified. Or done cheaper, like the Mile Train um, passenger mm -hmm. wagons, are totally different from the original set, but much cheaper. <laughs> yeah. No, and that's a good. That's it's good to show that because you know then it gives people options to build, you know, things because you know the the uh, Mirsk Blue is pretty out of range for. Well, I ain't gonna say it's out of range for everybody, but it is. It's an expensive part. It's, it's hard to get. Yeah. So I just got a message. Um, through discord somebody uh built their own and they, i think they used dark azure too mm. and uh sent me a link uh to their video that they made of, of making their Mersk train so i was like 
Right on. That's great. Yeah. That is and cool. really, I got the idea from A Fall and K Fall Bricks. They did a green one. Um, and then I finally got her. I started playing with Studio and got comfortable enough in it to go ahead and get it built and uh, get a part list from it. So yeah. I, I'm gonna have. To, I'm gonna have to. Uh, we'll have. I, I'm waiting to get all that memory, muscle memory out of me from using MCAD, Nail Draw, and all that. Because Studio really just bugs me, but I think it's just because I'm used to. One if I had learned something else, yeah, it, it probably would have been uh, a, a learning curve, and it and it, it's yeah, it's like an annoyance. Like, well, this yeah. that, that shouldn't be there. That's not the right, right spot for that, you know. Well, yeah, and I it, it, there. What is the thing? Um, when you click on a part, you have to click on it again to let go of it. Isn't that how that is? Uh, I think so. Yeah, it's it's all muscle memory, so I have to think about it. But, yeah. <laughs> uh, but I definitely do that. I'll, I'll move it in this position and then I'll drag it back with me. It's like, no, yeah. stay. Right. <laughs> exactly. That's exactly what I, yeah. Cause even, there, even I mean, there might be a setting movie. for that. I don't know. Oh, there might be. That I've could never be. looked. That's like going from DaVinci or from Adobe to DaVinci. That was, it took me, well, still, I'm still fighting it. Yeah. But uh, I just, uh, speaking of DaVinci real quick, I finally bit the bullet and paid the $300 to buy it. Yeah. The thing that really got me to do it. And and this is just something I like to I like to support things I like. Sure. Period. I'm not obsessed with everything being given to me for free, because generally that just means you're the product. Like we were talking about earlier with Windows try, serving mm -hmm. you ads in the start menu, even if you have paid for it. Right. Um, but DaVinci, I was like, yeah, I'll give them the money because I I love their product and I love that it is free. Right. But the feature that really sold me is I was able to, um, it's an AI thing where I just drop the video in and it makes a transcript of everything I said. Mm, yeah. And then I can edit the video from the transcript from text. <sighs> I seen so that. I, I, haven't say, I, I screwed this you know, like this is where I, cause I was reading it. It was a scripted video. Um, and I was just able to go through the script and cut out all the, mm -hmm. the, um, the flubs, you know, whenever I screwed mm -hmm. it up or something and just had to start over, <laughs> you just cut them out and cut them out. And then you can cut out the, um, the pauses in between and everything. I probably wouldn't use it very much for a lot of the videos I did, but for like just recording a, a voiceover or something, I was like, this is awesome. Yeah. I've I seen that so, feature. Yeah. So you don't just have to hit start and then <laughs> stop and then upload the video. You hit start and then you got to go around and check it and make sure it's recording. Yeah. And then, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Well, Brian, and, then, oh. and I was going to let y'all know um, my thoughts on the the ins and outs of L Draw, uh -huh. okay, and, and uh, Studio. I I use them equally as well. <laughs> 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 I don't know how to use either yeah. one. Yeah, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> I was going to say you use it about as much as I do. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it there's... really changed the way I approach the hobby like yeah. so much, and I tell people that a lot, and I just tell them. Look at simple sets, your favorite simple set, maybe one you never bought, and you can build it digitally just to build it and see how it's built. Mm -hmm. And that's what taught me to use it. Oh, that's a good idea. Of making modifications of stuff that's already out there, like the um, mountain train passenger wagon. Like I built the real one and then mm -hmm. built, started seeing what I could do to fake it, you know, to, and um, well, color it really helped. And though using those, if you know, if somebody has a, a, a one for one Lego model that they've put into one of the digital studio or whatever, color swaps are nice, and then you get your wanted list. So you can, you yeah, know, I don't know any other way to do that quick of a color swap, mm -hmm. exactly. And, and to see it, to see right. it, built, you can, or you can, you don't, you can do a render to get a better view of it, right? But just right there, like, is it looking yeah. blue? Oh, let's try green, let's, you know, right. it's it's amazing. Yeah. So you don't have to do it part by part. You can just do select certain colors of parts and change them. The way I do it is if I know I'm going to be swapping a, a color, I'll put all of that color in one step. It's just a group, basically. Mm. Um, and then you can change that whole group. There might be better ways to do it. I was just saying in MCAT or, or LDRAW, you could select color, select red, select yellow, whatever. That's probably a way to do that because, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and there's probably a way to videos where I show people how to do this. Like, huh? That's a better way to do it than the way yeah. I was doing it. So the only thing about d digital is if you get people who develop mocks and then they 
they get lucky enough to sell them or whatever, and they've never built never them. built them, or they've never I, built Lego, a, a lot of Lego, you know, because you know yeah. as collectors we've bought Lego and built Lego, we built trains, we built we followed the Lego model, and yeah, all of a sudden it's like, oh, what do you know, uh, fifteen Lego bricks stuck out on a snot on one snot, it doesn't gonna, it's not gonna hang in the air like that. I, I get that feeling a lot with blue bricks, and I think I, if I haven't mentioned it yet in videos, I will be soon it's like ah, well, i wonder if these were ever built physically right. oh. um or multiple and multiple people building it physically and kind of getting yeah. feedback from it right well and i think i've always said the intersection of train collectors and lego people is a very strange area because i i you know you get train collectors and they are perfectly happy dusting their train as it sits on the wall on a shelf and they are just happy and there are lego people who are very happy with that I want my stuff. I, I, especially my trains. I want to play with them. I'm, we're going to run them. We're going to run them off the side of the table, rebuild them, <laughs> run them off the side of the table again. <laughs> yep. Whatever it takes. Rinse and repeat. Yes. Yes. So I think, yeah, I think that's what happens is you get somebody, they build a model. And if it does get built physically and they're like, that looks great. We love it. Sell it. Like, yeah. Yeah, well, or go even around the layout. <laughs> yeah. Following the instructions. I noticed yeah. the other day in a, in a simple set of instructions I did, I screwed up. The order of something and i was like ah oh, i didn't notice that yeah the impossible order <laughs> yeah <laughs> it is really amazing the amount of work that lego does to mm -hmm. make the instructions good yeah yeah and that's that's all that's got to be a, a large part of the cost is yeah. all of the quality that goes into all of putting the whole model in an oven to see if it how it melts right or all, how you it know, melts. all the goofy yes. stuff they do <laughs> yeah yeah it's so you know we're, we're talking about digital instructions and i appreciate like when people do design their own thing and then use in studio and you can get the parts list i mean the, to me that's a huge part of it just being able yeah. to import a parts list so i don't have to manually like i did with the brick brick bottle railroad or stuff i had to manually i said can't y'all just make yeah, a pdf it. file that you send to people yeah, to buy i have a digital copy of it and, I, and they never did list. never and i was like wow. so every time i built one of those trains i had to manually make a parts list and it's annoying the um oh, the amtrak like uh take a while yeah for sure um the like uh amtrak locomotive that i built um i put those instructions were 15 dollars, and he doesn't have the right parts list it's like an old oh. version of it oh no and one of one of the guys in my discord he ordered those parts and then he was like, oh no realized it later uh so i had to send them my parts list from my studio models that I built yeah. to help them out with that. And I was like, yeah. ah, okay. And $15 is a lot. I've for, that's the for most I've for a mock. Yeah. 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 But I, I love it. It's one of my favorite locomotives and, and the, and the bag, uh, passenger cars. I love those. Yeah. It looks good. Yeah. All right, you have a great vault set. Let's talk about it because oh, yeah. we still want to, we come we want to come back to digital instructions. That we're gonna <laughs> put a pin in that and come back. Okay, to that. definitely. Yeah, I've got some more things here there too. And this is what this vault set. I was like one that I thought I know I built it, but I couldn't find find it. So this is okay. eight eight six two. Oh, let me get it centered here. Backhoe Grader is what it's called on on this website, but um, I've seen a few different names for it. But this was. There was so many different like features in this. It was kind of crazy for the time because this is 1989. Yeah, oh, like man. I was barely even born then. <laughs> um, so you've got your steering. Yeah. Nice. You've got your pneumatics, which um, we'll see how well they're, they're going to work here. Uh. I don't even know which one's going to which. <laughs> um, oh, so as you push it, it activates one of them. It doesn't yeah. have like, a storage tank or something then. Right. Yeah. There's, this wow. is way before the tanks. Okay. Um, so you can make that those. That is so cool. And then you've got, I think this is the outriggers. What is this? You got all the, you, so you have to remember what the switches do. Yeah. Okay. This is the, the uh, slew. Um, it's pretty slow to see it, but it's moving this back and forth. Oh, okay. Okay. I'll yeah. see it. I can see um, it. And then this one raises the outriggers on the back. Oh, wow. And you've got two more. <laughs> wow. You've got the bucket. Uh huh. And then you've got, the whole nice thing nice and uh, guess, you, you, did you do the steering i, I forgot yes yeah. yeah it's on the top it's on the top oh, okay yeah uh, hand of god steering up there um yeah. 
one very interesting part, you won't really be able to see it, but this is a threaded axle, and this is kind of like a nut that screws on. Oh, that's an unusual really? piece. Yeah. Very unusual and very hard to find. And that's why it holds all this together uh -huh. is because it screws on. Yeah, it's just gonna... a little half bushing there wouldn't hold it on. I was going to say, it looks pretty sturdy. Yeah. It, yeah. Um, it actually came to me assembled in a haul video from a, it was a, a Goodwill auction. Um, I had to take the whole thing apart, clean uh -huh. it, um, replace oh. all the hoses. What, and, were there uh, problems with the hoses? I think I just didn't chance it. Uh, I know the old, uh, you know, these are, let's see, 89, 30 35 years. Old, years. 35. <laughs> so they, they tend to harden up over time. Sure. Okay. So this website we have pulled up here is Blackbird's Technic Technicopedia. This is one of my favorite, absolute favorite sites for looking at Technic sets up to like, I forget the cutoff for the year because he at a certain point he just stopped updating it. This looks but, like yeah. this reminds me of Lugnet. Mm. Yeah, this oh, is like Lugnet yes. days, like era yeah. web design. But I mean, he just really goes into detail with all the all the features, how it all works. And see these these have the yellow cylinders. Mine are the newer ones. I just and, how uh, much time did he spend on making this site? That's just amazing. And yeah. for for any Technic set you can think of up wow. to like two thousand whatever. And he's got, you know, breakdowns for all the um, functions and wow. everything. And I was, we were just looking at this. This is the 8880 supercar. Uh -huh. And this is all of the mechanical functions, all the gears. There's the transmission. That is so cool. And it's just so, I guess you, this was my desktop background for many, many years. <laughs> <laughs> um, so how far, got, how far do the Technic sets go to? When do they stop? I guess he stopped updating it, you said? Yes. Uh, we can look and... Uh, 1977 to 2016. Oh, that's pretty good. That's not bad. Wow. So yeah, he, he's even years. got some of the newer, newer stuff here. See, there's a lot of this I haven't even seen. Wow, that bucket. Uh, okay, well bucket. this. Well, he doesn't have. Um, these are just placeholders. Oh, okay. okay. Can't okay. actually click on these. Okay. okay. I was gonna say I didn't think that was that old. Yeah. I mean, like four years. Yeah, ago? 2016. That well, it seems like it's eight years yesterday. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. these don't. These don't aren't clickable either. So okay, so he's just got the pictures. Yeah. So it's just a reference for a lot of the stuff. For newer stuff. stuff. But for the yeah. older stuff is really where I when I first got a phone that I could surf the web on when I was at work on my lunch breaks, this is all I did was scroll through this website. Yeah, I, I search on my lunch break also. Yeah. <laughs> lunch break. <laughs> I'm not allowed to use my phone at work. I would never do that ever. No. <laughs> and then he's, he's got them broke down by types of sets too. So here's that all, is so all cool. the excavators, um, forklifts. Dump trucks. I mean, not dump trucks. Uh, bulldozers. What are bulldozers? Yeah. Yeah. Here's yeah. bulldozers. Oh, oh, let me see if I got four. the. There's only there's more than four, isn't there? Well, these oh, are I'm, all pretty, I'm thinking the city ones. ones, so they wouldn't can't they wouldn't fit in his list here. Yeah. yeah. Um. Very good. There might have been a newer well yeah, there's the cat one that's very yeah. recent that wouldn't be on here yet. Yeah. So do you buy the newer big technic sets, Brian? Not anymore. Um yeah. to be honest, I don't I couldn't tell you the last time I bought a new set. It's it's, it's getting to train. that point. <laughs> Buying the bulk and the vintage and the it's just there's a lot of fun in that. And yeah. yeah. I, I went to the Lego store today and, and just walked out. I, I, one, they didn't have any of the dark blue spacemen torsos. What? Oh, I dug through and dug through. I was like, I, I, I don't have time for this. <laughs> <laughs> they probably got them in a box somewhere and they're keeping them. There's mine. Uh, maybe they were holding on. Yeah, maybe because they do. I, they're the ones that'll have like the um, whether the bags or boxes for the uh, mini figs. Maybe not the boxes, but the bags. They would feel them when they were bored, and then they'd kind of put a sticky note out. on on them for people yeah. to help find them. I should have asked. But I looked through the pick a brick wall and I was like, nothing's jumping out at me that I had to have. Because that is good. Because if you go to bricks and minifigs, you're not going to find a thousand one by two bricks that you need for something. Right. But, right. Right. but the Lego store, yeah, you will. Like I, I just built a, um, I had the roses and I built a, um, what do you call it? Just a vase for it. And it pretty much like 99% of the pieces were all from the pick a brick wall. Mm -hmm. Like all the little blue trans clear pieces I use for the water, right? And all that it was like, it, wow, this all came from that. It worked out really good. So the bricks and minifigs, it's by the pound. 
it's by what you can cram into a bag. <laughs> this is the this is the large bag. Big, okay. This is ninety dollars. Ninety dollars? Yeah, but you got to think how much you can cram in this. Yeah. Oh, so this bag's it was more full than this when you. I left. get ninety dollar brick like orders. And, and they're in a little bubble mailer. Yeah. 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 And yeah. and you're and a lot of that just goes straight to UPS for shipping. Right. Oh. UPS. So there's no shipping. Um, I get a discount because I was a founding member. Um, so every time I go there, I get like 10% off any of the bags I buy. We, you know, I know we're, we're pretty famous for being down on bricks of minifig, but it has a place, it serves a yeah. purpose, but because it's we're perfect for me. Yeah, and the, and the three of us are, you know, we have Bricklink stores, and we, you know, we know the Bricklink price, and it's like, ah, oh, come on. But I, I think I, uh, probably my my the flaw in my thinking is I'm thinking more in terms of sets uh -huh. instead of well, the bulk. Yeah, and I think I can see uh, the potential for bulk being good, but I've also. In the past, I've always viewed these places as they've pulled it before they even put the bulk out. They've pulled all the good stuff out. And that's what I've seen when I've gone. I, I don't have a bricks and mini. Well, there is one. That's, it probably depends on the store, too. Yeah, I've things. I've been to stores and it's, there's nothing there. And it, it is potentially because I'm late to the uh, <laughs> getting there. The only exception was the second and Charles, which has a bulk table. I got there right after for Zoom, and, <laughs> and they had dumped stuff out with monorail track in it. Oh, oh really? my and word! He was he was great. He was it's like, and I had it's it's I was at work, and I had sat in my truck for like fifteen minutes in the parking lot of the thing before I went in, and I go in, and he's in there. <laughs> wow, wow! That's like a I got I got like one or two of the small sections that I found digging through, but he'd already gotten all the straights and the ramps uh, and stuff. Dave uh, Kadais, I think is how you say it, something like that. Dave K in Canada went to a um, doll, something, no, I'm trying to remember the name of the store, but he, he went and found a big old bag of monorail. Oh. I think it was one of the space sets, like most yeah. of the pieces or whatever. It was like $20. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so then that brings up another, to the, uh, the other side of this. If these guys don't know that, right, the bricks and minifig guys are not, if they're not pre sorting the stuff or they don't know it, you know, I, mean, I guess they have to be looking through Bricklink. I imagine that they have to set the price in front of it. Right. I mean, is it but, um, possible that they just some? I mean, I guess it's I, possible well, some of these franchises well, just don't they, know. Maybe. Well, it's not maybe that if they don't have a Bricklink store, that's, that's their only that's their only outlet is to buy bulk they, and dump it and sell it. But don't they sell parts and minifigs and stuff there in the bricks and they sell minifigs? I mean, but I, I've, I've seen on the wall and some of them where they have parts hanging up like in little plastic bags where it's like you know three dollars for mm -hmm. something. So I mean, These, they have, they have like yeah. little capsules with uh, minifigs in them that are pre-built. But even I don't think it's that much. It's like a dollar more than if you build your own. But I found that green space torso in there. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. see. I, I if I owned the bricks of minifigger, I would make sure that. Every minifigure <laughs> had gone through first. Oh, I would pre—I would do exactly like like Jabo saying. I pre-sort everything before it goes out on a bulk table. And I mean, I ain't like I'm—I—I I could probably open a bricks of minifig with the amount of bulk that I got. And Dakota is so helping let me, know me when with, you do. Yeah. <laughs> well, Dakota's helping with my tubs of regret. He's—he's he's been looking for stuff. And he'll clean them out and for the color that he's wanting to build or whatever. And then he'll get all that because he just. He'll pull everything out of the tub, and he's getting what he wants. The rest of it, he just takes it, and he goes and dumps it in the big tub, which is like, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> That's reverse story. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Like, there's, there's some One things step that he... Two steps back. Yeah. Well, <laughs> hey, I he, I don't get on to him. He does what he wants. It's fine. Because when it when it's all said and done, him and his mother's going to have to dig it out of the basement anyway. When I'm all gone. Yeah. That's their problem. <laughs> so, well, hey, tell me this, Brian. Do you ever see a tipper truck bucket in a, in uh, a bulk bin? I haven't yet. Oh. Somebody found one somewhere. Oh, it was a uh, Mark. You know, Mark and Steven, the Lego. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he was sorting through his bulk, and he was like, "It's a tipper <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> a bucket." And he's like, I, "Oh, he had it in his own collection." That. Yeah, yeah. When he's sorting. I, mean, his I don't know if that was a bulk he bought from i don't remember it was just what he I was hope just I didn't leave one in his mock 
<laughs> so yeah, that uh, um, what's his name that did the the Citron? He said he's got a Daniel. Daniel yeah, he said he's got. Uh, he keeps waiting for me to get down there <laughs> for, for like the last two years to go down there. I got to call him or text him or something before I go down there. Make sure he'll be there. Speaking of Daniel, uh, one of the guys in my Discord who isn't named Daniel, but he's building the Citron uh, set. I think yeah. Daniel helped him source all the parts and and the. Um, I guess he made the red quarter pan uh, quarter dome mm -hmm. things right. for him and, and all that. And um, I, th I think he was working on it last night. So I'm cool. some pictures as he was going. That's such a. I guess it's because there's so much. Well, I, and I, when I say so much, is what there's a half a dozen pictures of it. But I mean, it is. It does. It was a. It was a cool theme that I think. Uh, I mean, I know I would have probably collected. Well, it's monorail, so I was going to collect it. But yeah, you, you would have collected it after the fact. Like, I would have. Oh, yeah, I would have. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Man, I'm old enough to remember all of the monorail sets being in the store and being. Man, I really would like to get that, but I can't afford a hundred and fifty dollars set. <laughs> If only, only you'd right? know how much of an investment it was. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. But it, interestingly, they still were in 25 years ago. It was, you could get one for around a hundred to $150. So they were still, they were still out there, but as the internet. Yeah. Grew more and more people started wanting it. And then. Yeah, well, man. and then there were some people that did some really big displays at shows, you know, that, you know, some of the, Brick Worlds, Brick Virginia, yeah. all those, and I think that kind of re revitalized it, if you will. If nothing else, it it yeah, started a lot people. of supply. Yeah. Yes, for yes. one, and then got everybody thinking, I I want to do that. Yeah, so. it's funny. Um, Matt Childs, the one, he's the one that made the first work. I feel the first working Lego roller coaster using all Lego parts. To he made a huge hill and he had a loop. And he used the uh, the track the uh, for uh, the gray era train track for okay. the to do it, and he used that sideways build for the, right. from the uh, or, yeah, like the curved sideways for the yeah. slopes and stuff. Yeah. But to make the tall tower, his supports were monorail track. <laughs> wow, <laughs> I mean, who uses monorail track as a support now for anything? That's a, that's a flex right there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So speaking uh, of monorail track, you got something about third party, third party train stuff? Yeah. So Brian, you're you're into a lot of the third party stuff. Blue, yeah. you already mentioned blue bricks, and I know me and you've talked about pie bricks before. And that who the, is it that's doing the third the the monorail stuff? Is that blue bricks? Uh, forty bricks. Forty bricks. That's the other one. They okay. start. They started with train track. I think. Um, they kind of got. There's a, I don't know, you can read about it on your bricks. The, um, Trix bricks kind of beat them to the punch, uh, mm -hmm. I think. I think the story was 40 bricks was kind of crowdfunding and getting it all going and stuff. And then Trix bricks just spun up and did it. Yeah. Um, and there was even some accusations that they used their designs and stuff. But then other people were saying, look, if you just do the geometry, that's how it's yeah. going to look. It's got to be. It's, yeah. There's only so much variance. Yeah. Right. So I can't. Speak yeah, you're to the truth in any of that, but um, and they did uh, monorail parts, uh, 3D printed, uh, and then now you can just buy their, or I think they might be free to, to just get the designs and print your own, and then they have a marketplace where we just got, when I ordered mine, uh, that's the first seller in the United States to print and ship uh, monorail track, uh, Paul's Printing. Okay. Um, because I had been watching, and I, I had, for a couple of years, I had a cart that I would go fill every once in a while from Germany. You know, thinking I'll order mm -hmm. these one day because I really wanted the diagonal straights to go between the curves or the switch tracks. Um, and then I finally saw that. All right, nope, somebody on Discord. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, yeah. you know, is I just found thing? these, and I was like, oh my god! And I was, is it, it pricing? Not that. It's not that bad. Um. Compared to regular yeah. model trick, no. Yeah, I think straights are like ten bucks. Yeah. Versus twenty twenty five for Lego ones. So Something you like you've had it now for mm, what six months maybe? When did you what, start getting uh, the monorail track? Because it's all three D printed, right? Yeah. 
is it holding up? I, well, I, I have, I've, because the monorail is the worst case scenario because it has a metal gear underneath there. Yeah, and on the plastic. Yes, on yeah, the plastic little rail. teeth on the track. Yeah, and, and I mean, and that, nothing else is cheap enough to replace. Okay, um, well, fair enough. But for me, I just run it when I'm making videos. Oh, even, even the okay, Aquazone right. monor uh, layout, I'm never going to take it to a convention. It's not made to be portable. Right. It sort of is. It breaks down into sections, sort of, just so I can bring them in here. Like, I got a section here. Um, but yeah, I would never run them enough to know what the long term. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there, there might, there's a huge uh, Facebook group for Monorail, one or two. And some of them print their own stuff, and some are printing some custom parts that I've never seen before. Yeah. Um, and some of them might have more insight into the long term. Yeah, that's yeah. a question I have with the 3D because I, I had some 4D brick stuff and it, it just it felt like it wouldn't last long. Well, yeah, I, I double crossed over it, like if you built it and just left it, it might be all right. But I felt like you keep taking it apart, it's going to break sooner than, than Lego track would. So I have an interesting my so my big my big boy actually has nine bolt motors in it, <clears throat> and I have convert or not converted, but I use the cables to connect. Uh, what was it a power function battery to the nine bolt motor? So at any rate, my double crossover, which was three D printed, it actually wore out underneath that. It, mm. it there it, you could visibly see you know not only was there little plastic pieces you know there, but and then it got into the because it wasn't one hundred percent fill. It was how whatever they do, it was fill supported whatever inside the rails and stuff. That stuff started mm. showing. So mm. yeah, I I ended up pulling it out and put two of the fx bricks nine bolt tracks and uh hmm. and they were the well they're the same radius as the end the geometry is the same radius as regular nine nine no it's not i don't remember i don't remember <laughs> any rate it gets in there it works so, but it's nine volt track um yeah it is it is wide radius some some kind any rate it's it works <laughs> but yeah i don't i've i have had issues with the printed stuff but yeah it's funny some of this the 3d uh the injection molding stuff that's from China now. The double crossover that Lego made, the one that's like three hundred dollars if you want to buy it. They have one in China right now for like twenty bucks or that's less crazy. than that. I think. I think I bought several. I think I have like four of them hmm. just because they were so dirt cheap. Yeah, <laughs> dirt cheap. That's yeah. it. <laughs> so does it work just like the one Lego had? Or yes. Did... Okay. Yeah. So yeah. if you have to, if you switch yeah, one, you're yeah, flipping yeah, the yeah. the one on the other yeah. side. Yeah. That's, uh... so, did um, did you happen to see? Do you ever get any Instagram ads for the Curiosity Box Technic inspired solenoid motor? It's a, it's like it's supposed to show you how a motor works, but it's got all these orange Technic gears that aren't made by Lego. You haven't got this. I get the ad because I, of, I didn't. He didn't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I I had sent this two hundred bucks. <laughs> Actually, one hundred fifty dollars, and then two hundred dollars if you want the extra gear pack. And the, the gears do all these weird things where the gear spinning and it the what it's spin because of the way the inside gears are, it'll make it like oscillate. It, they do different things. It's pretty neat. It teaches hmm. your principles of mechanics or whatever. But yeah. I wanted to know. I I sent them a message because I said before I lay down all this money. I, first I asked them if they'd send me one. They said no. <laughs> Never and, and then I asked them what's it made out of and I, I had to go back and forth with several people mm -hmm. uh, finally they said oh it's a secret we can't tell you and I said okay ah. I'm not going to buy it then because I said if it's 3D I asked them I'd flat out is it 3D printed and they wouldn't tell me and I said if it's 3D printed I'm definitely not buying it right. but if you can tell me it's injection molded I don't know why that's a secret well, that should be a selling yeah, point just, just between those two that, that's a weird yeah. thing to. I can see like what um, I think they don't want to say where they're, they're using where they're, the 3D I think they're either. getting them made in China, is what Probably. I think. And they don't want to yeah. say who they're using to make them, is what I think. They might not even know. know. <laughs> I don't think they do. Here, I got I'm, it. I'm probably the only person that follows them that's going to be asking these questions. Right. I even said that in my in my emails. I said, I'm probably the only person that's worried about this. It's that Jabo guy again. Yeah. This is the one you're talking about, right? Yeah, this is it. Well, there's a brass light. One. There's the yeah, that's the big expensive one. It's got all these weird gears. Yeah, yeah. and I I, I want to get them, but I don't I don't want to pay for them. 
<laughs> I bet you they're. I bet I you think they're, they're either 3D printed or Chinese made. They look like a spiral. As many graph. different designs there are, I would think 3D printed. Yeah. Because they'd have to make a mold for every single one of these. Yeah. If they were injection molding. Yeah. But anyway, that I thought that'd be something that might pique your interest, even though you probably definitely wouldn't shell out the money for something like that. <laughs> I mean, in general, I'm generally more towards the electrical side of things than mechanical. Okay. But definitely okay. that stuff isn't. There's a guy that makes good YouTube videos with Lego gears with those kind of principles, but with real Lego parts, yeah, the, yeah. you know, oscillating and all that kind of stuff. It's pretty cool to watch. So I do have a question about pie bricks. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we, you had sent me a message. Actually, you sent me a message during the last recording. <laughs> I think it's in the recording where it's like, Oh, Brian just sent me a message. <laughs> oh yeah. Yep. <laughs> so is pie bricks. Okay. So one of the things that I like to do is run, I run multiple motors off of one, off of one uh, hub, mm -hmm. uh, which uh, I know, you know, I, I'm, I got a hub right here, or I got a remote. So, mm -hmm. you know, I got the plus at the top and the minus at the top, and then I, it works okay for me. But you're, you're, so you're, you're, you're pressing video, two buttons at once. Yes, absolutely. For yeah. two motors. For yeah. two motors, yeah. So the A and the B. For me, side. I just hold down plus. Uh -huh. All right. And it just slowly ramps up at speed, and then it, then it goes, and I, and then I can, and I can control a different. And right you over could, here or lights and you could control multiple hubs with that same button push yes so if i got like, I've, I've done a lead locomotive and then mm -hmm. two followers is there a limit to the motors. followers wow we don't know we don't know the limit's like a thousand twenty four or something crazy like oh, that. okay yeah but yeah. we've never been able to test it <laughs> yeah <laughs> i imagine uh, at some point bluetooth's just gonna yeah. yeah, I mean Bluetooth is nice, but there's there is a physical limit to. Uh, is it a physical yeah? So limit? the limit. So it's, some of the things the pro people run into problem at Lego conventions is everybody's using the Lego products and they interfere with each other, especially GBC people. Yeah, that's why they like to use the physically wired stuff versus right. the Bluetooth. I've seen this at Brickworld this last time. The, there was a kid that was trying to do a boat and he was doing it on his phone. Right. So that means he's using one of the hub or one of the powered up. So he's got to be using the blue. He could not get it connected. All yeah. the old guys, I say old guys because they're my age. They they all had either power functions, right? So they had the infrared, or they had one of these and it was already pre-connected. And I bet they never disconnected them. But yeah, that poor well, kid. Even the power phone, functions, you you only got four possibilities. Well, there's only two boats usually racing at a oh, time. Okay. So if you're standing there, okay. hey, where are you at? You know, I'm on I'm on channel one blue. And they're like, oh, okay, we're good. You know, that's what me and Dakota have to do. He has his trains are on one channel, mine are on another channel. And and he'll every once in a while he'll sneak over and he'll switch a switch and he'll my train will start <laughs> going backwards and he'll like ah <laughs> you do realize I can and do I have, the same thing, right? Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> but I have I am very curious how well Pybrix holds up in a convention environment. Yeah, um, with multiple stuff. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. It, stuff. It, Will it save you if everybody else is having trouble and you're on your right. setup? Because you had there is much more you can customize and, and yeah. things like that. You know, you can kind of. So, so the I'd, I'd my curious. big question about it is it's all web based though, right? They don't have an actual app. Um, you do all your programming and stuff from their web page. I do it all on a computer. Um, as far as I know, I think you could use a phone or tablet, but I've never really tried it myself. And it would be through the web page. Would be through the web page, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but for me, I assume once you once you program those hubs, I mean, it's going to be locked in. So yeah, like when I pull I when I pulled out the BNSF locomotive the other day, I just popped it down, turned it on, and turned on yeah. any remote and, and went. Yeah. Um, that's what's really nice about it is the, once it's downloaded to that hub, it's going to remember all the settings and and, oh. and everything. So I, I can pull out the um, that Amtrak one I was talking about, and it's got electrically two motors on one and then the lights on the other, and it's just ready to go whenever whenever I need it. <laughs> I, I, to me, it's easier than than the Lego apps and stuff. Yeah, like yeah. every time I I'm like you, I pretty much run stuff when I'm filming a video, and it's like. With the Lego stuff, I have to. Oh, how do I do this again? Especially the app. Yeah, with the app, it's like. Yeah. Oh, there's a firmware update. Uh, uh, I'm gonna go kill four or five minutes. <laughs> Wait, yeah. no. 
Plus, you're, if I'm filming with a phone. I need a phone yeah. to. I eventually got somebody else's old phone. Yeah. So I could have an extra phone for. I uh, just got to make sure I phone. always keep an old phone with the app on it because right. I've run into the problem where stuff no longer has an app. But as long as you got the app already, it should be okay. It, it'll keep working independent of whether you ever connect to the internet or not. But if you don't have the app, you can never download it. And I think that's what's going to happen with some of these apps. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's another reason. I wouldn't have invested nearly as heavily in Powered Up without pipe rings. Yeah. Full stop. Yeah. I, you know, at one point that you could, and I don't, I, I, somebody told me, it may have been you that even told me that there was a certain version of the hub, Lego version of the hub. You could actually connect multiples together. They would actually connect, but they they had to all be the same version. And your your which this I'm not sure you can update, but somebody said that even this had to be the right version. And I got to work a couple times, but I have like six or eight of those hubs, and I they're not marked. You know, they get laid down, so I don't know which ones are which. You try to do the updates, or do the if you connect your phone, it's going to update it. So I don't seem to be able to do that now. Or if there there is obviously no clear instructions from from I almost said McDonald's. Uh, it seemed like there, there are like no. after, McDonald's. After the first video I did, because um, that was a big question I had, how do I control my green train and the other train, the uh, orange train, from one remote? Orange on the side, green on the other. Right. And could, and it, it was such a pain to find that. I had to look through a 30-minute video, and it, you know, 18 minutes in, I finally found it. And even then, the way he explained it wasn't that great. And then I went on to use that same explanation and then later, I don't know if it popped up on the Lego website or if I just found it finally because it was hard to find. Buried in um, there. They somewhere. do have the instructions there. And it, it is a better, it's not as difficult as I was making it. Huh. Okay. Well, I'll have but, to look um, for that. But yeah. It, it, I keep wanting to try well. the fireworks. I, I love it. I love it so much because yeah. I, I like to build really long trains. And if yeah. I want, you know, I mean, that's, uh, that's a video I've wanted to do for. It was, it was supposed to be this summer, but it just totally got derailed. Um, I wanted I wanted every single train, rolling stock, locomotive, everything in one single train. There you Except go. Except for, I guess, my 9-volt stuff I couldn't do with it. But, you know, I'd, I had to easily probably have 10 powered-up locomotives all powered together from one button <laughs> and distributed through the train and just pull everything I have. But yeah. I haven't got around to it yet. Hmm. <laughs> One problem is space. Yes. <laughs> well, it's a it's amazing how much weight is oh. in Lego trains. Yeah, for sure. Especially like when I was doing all the incline stuff. Yeah. When I bought the the Trix bricks uh, bridge stuff. Mm -hmm. You really get a feel for how heavy this stuff is and how much it takes. Just that little bit of an incline of the grade. It makes a huge difference. It amazes me that guys that do uh, eight wide, so the BMR stuff, those cars are so heavy. They're yeah. so heavy. Um, yeah, Nate. Uh, Nader, wait, he changed his name. Nate Spricks. Nate Spricks, I think now, yeah. Yeah, he, he, he'll, he'll have a train and be like 50 eight wide cars. Yeah. I don't uh, how, how, how are you doing this? Well, there are some not, people they'll just have nine volt motors all the way through yeah, it yeah. and have the track powered from several different places. Yep. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know how they do it. Yeah. <clears throat> well, and that's, you know, when I build a lot of my six wide, six wides, it's not much lighter, but you can use, you could cheat by using the big, ugly train bases and, you know, then stacking just, you know, what I call stacking bricks. You know, you just put your walls and stuff where it's like, you know, a lot of the eight wide, they put so much detail in and now you're using, you're using all these weird techniques and stuff to make that. Yeah. Really they don't really use look. base plates yeah, or right. Yeah. Bases. But you know, it does, it can help with the weight, you know, yeah. all those. Yeah. The passenger cars at this point now, if I don't have like four motors and two hubs, the cars just, it won't go not with any, yeah. any regularity, wheel slip, stuff like that. So yeah. They also yeah. pull apart. Well, I use magnets in between. Dakota won't even put a yeah. train on a track anymore. He doesn't have magnets in between them. Yeah. Yeah. And that's magnets up a lot. And yeah. when I was testing them, I, 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 that's great. Yeah. And the upgraded uh, rubber rings um, from Trix Bricks that, that, that they sell with their okay. bridge set. For traction. That helps, that helps. Yeah. The traction uh, bands. So those help a good yeah. thing, too. Yeah. If wheel slip is your problem, that will help, help some. But it's, it's <laughs> not like some people. 
and we're like, do I need this? And I was like, well, looking at the video or, or how you're describing it, I don't think it's wheel slip you're having a problem with. I think it's something. Why, do, why isn't, how come somebody hasn't made a little thing that d drops literal sand out on the track? <laughs> <laughs> don't give me any ideas. <laughs> Well, you know, really always wear make, out your 3D printed yeah, tracks. No doubt, yeah. <laughs> make your cars as light as possible and your locomotives as heavy as possible. That's, that's but in model trains. If your if your freight is too light, it'll derail easier. Be, they a, weigh their stuff down yeah, so that, especially if you have a longer train going around yeah. curves. There, there is, I'm sure, a math problem. Yeah. That will tell you exactly how much how much traction and how much weight and yeah. Right. Actually I know there is. I don't know it. But there is for real trains, let's put it that way. Them guys, mm -hmm. they're like on it exactly. So well, and you know, that's part of like if you see the big boy moving around, the the real one, and there's a diesel with it, and a lot of people complain and they're like, look, they're just faking it, you know, that diesel's doing all the work. The diesel is only there because the FRA requires a certain amount of brake capability or capacity per tonnage. Mm -hmm. And the big boy is way more tonnage than a lot of things. So it has to have the diesel just to be able to run on FRA or class one railroad, right? By the FRA standards, it has to have the diesel just to have enough. Uh, uh, what do they call that traction power? The, uh, yeah, where it, it's where the electric motors are, mm -hmm. you know, slowing down versus actually stopping. Um, but yeah, that's that's why you always see that diesel. Play. You know, it does other things. Yeah, but that's that video that uh, y'all were talking about, where the 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 big boy had to help a diesel train yes. up a up a hill. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and in the, in the uh, uh, what uh, oh, I can't think of his name, the guy that's in charge of that, he was so proud of that because he made he made sure that the diesel wasn't doing anything. <laughs> It was <laughs> big boy was pushing that train up the hill. Yeah. We're, gonna, yeah. we're gonna do it. <laughs> I mean, how can you look at there. a big boy and not think it's powerful? It's like, uh, yeah, right, right. <laughs> it's crazy. Wow. But uh, um, back to we're not talking third. about Shoney's people, all right? <laughs> <laughs> and Doctor Evil and his ship. <laughs> Speaking of third party and all that, you you want to guess who I got an email from today, this morning? Mm, Blue Bricks? It was Blue Bricks. Really? I've gotten emails. I've probably got at least a dozen. I've, I've Pantasy was the most recent one, mm -hmm. which to me just sounds like they sell lingerie or something. Yeah. Like the name. <laughs> Pants, I don't even know. What are you is. imagining? <laughs> um, and I've had a bunch of other like Chinese ones and stuff. Yeah. This is the only one I've ever put any thought to. Um, and I liked that the email did not look like it was AI written. Yeah. And it didn't look like it was copy pasted. Yeah. They were like, we're glad to see someone in the US taking an interest, that kind yeah. of thing. And even offered to get on a video call to chat if we wanted to. Oh, that's big. Uh, I was like, okay, so this is, this is a far cry from every other email I've yeah. ever gotten. Mm -hmm. What's holding me back is from the very beginning i don't want this to be a job i don't want to yeah. think of it as work I'm not making any money from it yeah. so it can't be <laughs> but it, it's an interesting development if nothing else um maybe i could provide some feedback or ask questions from like uh, there's a fair bit of of uh people in the discord that that use blue bricks mm -hmm. and they might have questions or feedback just maybe some kind of just to have some kind of channel there might be good but, I think um, with your level of expertise in your community that you have in Discord, like I think you could get a no commitment deal you know, with them. Like mm -hmm. I'll look at your stuff. I might not make a video on it, but I will answer questions about it or get on a follow up video at some time in the future with you. Because that's what I had to do with Curiosity Box. I was like, I'll take something, but I'm not going to guarantee. <laughs> I'm even going to make a video on it. Yeah. And I, but I did give them feedback. I gave them feedback. But yeah. it's, and he, I think the most important thing is to make sure that you keep it in your own time. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Don't let them overwhelm you because, you know, you're willing and whatever. They're like, oh, hey, Brian will do yeah. you. Know? But yeah. That's what, that's what frustrated me with that, um, the Mallard that I did the video on. The people were being, they were impatient and the big boy too. And I was like, dude, I'm not, how much did you pay me? I was like, 
<laughs> this is taking me days to assemble. Or do you not know how to build bricks? I'm like, oh, okay, you, you just, you're you not getting anything me? now. And that's what I told the the, uh, the the big boy people. I was like, okay, you're going to insult me. Right. I'm going to not do anything. I didn't. Right. I don't blame you there. Another problem is space. Yeah. Oh, sure. Yeah. Probably pretty soon here. Probably have a video setting up a, a got another um, shelf to set up in the living room. I'm starting to build up all these. It's a lot of blue bricks, um, you know, track side stuff and, and all the little buildings and crossings and things like that. Uh, I just want to have them on the shelf there. So when I do build a layout, you just pull them all down and, and, and go. Hmm. But um, there's, all, there's only so much room in there. <laughs> there's does Blue Bricks also do the uh, Star Trek stuff? Have you seen that? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I've not really looked at the website that much, but the website could be a little bit better. But um, they, yeah, they, they they do have the Star Trek stuff. I I never really watched. I've watched some Star Trek in recent years, trying to kind of get into it, but I wasn't a, a Star. Trek oh no! If you didn't grow up with it, it's probably a hard acquired taste. Yeah. <laughs> I started watching, I guess, uh, the original series, and then my younger brother said to watch um, TNG, The Next Generation. Yeah. I watched a, a yeah. fair bit of those. TNG is probably the golden era of Star Trek. Like It's probably more um, palatable. Yeah, it's not, yeah. not you know. easy. There's still yeah. good stories. There's some bad stories mixed in. Wesley annoys you. and, and but. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's it's probably the and then they make Picard and ruin everything. So. <laughs> Paramount, thank you. <laughs> I didn't think Picard was near as bad as uh, uh, the acolyte. No, uh, that was the wrong phrase. Uh, <laughs> uh, what was the the other one? The, the Discovery. Uh, yeah. Oh my gosh, that one went off the rails. It had potential. But anyway, had sorry, sorry, Brian. We sidetracked the whole discussion. <laughs> I think that was all uh, it really had is that uh, I'm just kind of, I'm thinking about it or maybe I'll see what they have to say. It's interesting. But um, in the back of my mind, I've just always ignored those emails. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know? It's the right thing to do because they're expecting something from you. And you may, I mean, these, you may get like, so like with the panties of Jason from Jason's Bricks and Five, he's, built several of the sets i keep telling them i said you they need to pay they they offered to pay me and i was like i turned them down because i was like i just don't have time to do it and it's yeah i don't as know soon I'm as i'm pay. obligated to do something yeah i'm probably not you lose the joy that's yeah it. that's, that's it. it yeah i think the same thing would happen if you were in the land or i was <laughs> it's like yeah that's i would it, I it feel no like work it feel like work yeah yeah, yeah. i, I barely i'm surprised i've kept work. youtube going this long and that's just because I enjoy it. And even yeah. when I'm not as enamored with the Lego side of it, the just YouTube side of it, just, you yeah. know, I, I enjoy making videos. Um, that's kept me going so far. I, I, and I'm, I'm not being, because uh, it's, it's funny that the, the video you did where you talked about the kid running into you and recognizing you is like the day before I saw that video is when I had done the video, like that guy, Barry Power Bricks. I'm glad I've known him now because he's because you really do you put you put a lot of thought into your videos and they're well made mm -hmm. and I'll be thinking about your outro music. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't necessarily the goal, but uh, yeah, I, the one video when I did the update video and I'm like I, I got to take a break for a little bit. Yeah, uh, it was one clever pig in the comments like man, not having that uh, joyous yeah. outro that was. That was a, <laughs> A hit, <laughs> it's like, right. and I'm like, okay, every video from now on, I, I gotta have it. Yeah, it's gotta be there. <laughs> yeah, as long as you, it, 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 as long as you're doing it on your schedule, when you feel comfortable doing it, it'll all you'll always enjoy doing it. But if you try to make it something, it you, you'll you'll be and in I, that I, rat race. I say it in every video uh, when I do a review. I spent my own money on this. Yeah. This is my opinion. I think that does have some street cred YouTube. Mm -hmm. You know, it whether it was sent to me for free and it didn't affect my judgment, just being able to say that, yeah. I like being able to say that. I don't, yeah. I don't, you know, whether it's really that important or not. I don't really get that much that it would be, 
you know, if they sent me like a hundred dollars in sets, it wouldn't be a big, huge deal, you know. Yeah, but just as long as you like, you you know, keep it, keep it on your schedule. Yeah, they send you a hundred dollars in sets, and they expect something in two weeks or whatever. It's like, you know, yeah. but yeah, and and you got to keep your own creative license in it. You got to you know say, hey, I'm going to say what I say, and if you don't yeah. send me anything else in the future, <laughs> fine. But yeah, it is that what was in the be. email that they they liked the feedback. Mm-hmm. Um, right, it, there was something that they said to that effect that they appreciated the honest. Yeah. And, I, and things like that i think it's it's it is fine to be negative on something if you're being genuine and honest and you know, i it, i hate saying it because it's corporate and i hear it at work but it, you know don't be part of the problem be part of the solution so it's like hey this is not good but if you did this it would be better or something that you know but you know i don't know I, yeah. you, you just hate it when somebody's like everything is awesome we really yeah. like blue brick you know that <laughs> Yeah, for sure. It doesn't work. So yeah, click my affiliate link in the description yeah. below. <laughs> yeah. exactly. I'm gonna teach you how to use blue bricks. I have a course for $29.95. Not... <laughs> <laughs> no, pie brick is the one. Oh, yeah, that pie bricks was yeah, I'm gonna teach you how to use pie bricks, $29.95 a month. <laughs> so good so idea. Bill, you, uh... Now I can make some money from this. <laughs> <laughs> you did really well with the six packs, huh? Oh no, I'm done with six packs. I'm not doing them ever again. <laughs> For sure, this I'm gonna be done with CMFs. Uh, I'm not done with CMFs. I still like the CMFs, but they, I, I mean, you know, I don't know any more spacemen. I'm gonna have to have those. Yeah, no. I'd rather them be a CMF than be in a gift with purchase. For sure, that's a good point. Yeah. A yeah. Doctor Who CMO. Somebody left a comment in on my video, and they said, "Man, wouldn't it be great if there was a Doctor Who CMO?" Oh, that would be good. Yeah, Lego. If, if it was 2012, maybe. <laughs> yeah, the new season. Doctor, Doctor Who's not really Who. relevant anymore. Well, they just had a new season. Did you not watch it? I probably wasn't your I've thing. Little. And once uh, they turned Doctor Who, well, never mind. I yeah, gonna... I know. I know. I know. Okay. Uh, <laughs> That's all right. You just go scroll back through your books. <laughs> yeah. We watched the uh, we watched an episode. We were super excited, and we watched it. And I said, "I'm probably never going to watch Doctor Who again." So, mm-hmm. <laughs> well, the only thing is, is they will change the Doctor yeah. will change eventually. So, it wasn't, yeah, the the, it wasn't the Doctor. Oh, it wasn't the Doctor. Okay. No. Okay. Um. So anyway, <laughs> you're done with them, huh, Joey? The six packs I am for sure. I uh with them being where you could scan them and stuff now, I don't yeah. Uh, yeah there's no if chase. You keep, if you keep ordering them from Lego, you can't scan them till you get them home anyway. I get it. No, I, I know. And <laughs> but every time I go to my Walmart or even the taller the Target, they're never there. They're they, they either get so few or none, or somebody is is cleaning them out. I mean, I don't know. I don't. I don't ever see empty boxes. I don't see the. What do you call them on the end of the the thing you keep sending me every time, Earl? The little power. Bro- I almost grabbed the Dungeons and Dragons for you. Did you? <laughs> well, I got like four of them, and I and I will use them because I'm running out of space in my last one over there. So I got to find space for another one of those. And I've I got people say they're having a hard time finding them, and some people say like Barnes and Noble and things like that you wouldn't normally think of might have them here and there. Well, that's a good but I point. wonder how many are like just getting opened and the store is like, we're not doing this anymore because they, you know, there's a rash of. Well, you know, Walmart and Target and in, in some areas are putting them in cases in like a glass case and you, you have to yeah. go get a clerk to get them. And a lot and, of the Lego in general is in the, the entire like, Lego aisle in some there. Walmart or is, or is behind a locked case, yeah. which that's dystopian. It, it, this is how it. It affected me. I went into what this is a Walmart. I used to go in when I was in college, and I went by there one day, and every everything was everything in the Lego aisles, but in a lot case, they had stuff on clearance, and I was like, I don't feel like going. <laughs> yeah, I, feel I, like, I don't feel like going like asking somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Unless they're gonna give me my own key. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me, it's fine. Give me a key. Yeah. I'm not, I, I want to be like more like Brian and just like oh, I don't need to go buy a new Lego. Just uh, buy used Lego and be happy. Well, you're doing really well. Just give me the bags yeah. of the, the used yeah. stuff. I don't know. Like, I'm still not ready to buy. Spend ninety dollars for the bag. <laughs> you're doing really and well. I still going say it's a great, stuff. great deal. 
What'd you say, Earl? I said you're doing really well going through your old stuff. Yeah. Except for the last two videos, everything's still sitting on the table. <laughs> not sorted. Well, that's because you have to do you have to open some more boxes like that yeah. so you can start putting so stuff together. You'll be taking stuff out of these boxes and looking at it and then put it in, in another box. <laughs> You probably got a few lifetimes worth of videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything yeah. yeah you again. open a box and you say, well, I'll make this the tree box. Now, what am I doing yeah. with the other stuff that I took out? <laughs> I've sorted the trees. I've accomplished something. I, I got a video coming up. I don't know when it's coming up. Next week sometime, I guess, uh, of, of creating a new box of regret. <laughs> it's Yeah. I just want to – it's like I, I want to start – and it's like I had in my mind is like okay I'm going to sort all the the smaller vintage specialty elements and things like that not the the plates and the stuff but the gears for the technic stuff the the signs the printed pieces and I just I don't know it's just, it's almost like you have to have a bunch of shoe boxes to put across yeah. your table so as yeah. you open one you could just keep <laughs> yeah I think that's what I need. I need to come up with a system like those other people that sort bulk and get, and I just, that would require me buying more containers. <laughs> well, isn't it, in it, in, uh, uh, the one, oh man, what's his name? He, he, anyway, he has the store Westminster. He moved though. It ain't that anymore. Anyway, they have like a three tiered. Oh, goes through, bricks on a dollar. Bricks on a dollar. Yes. Thank yeah. you. You know, they sort, you know, because you think it's easy, right? Plates and, oh. and bricks. And then, but then it's like, well, wait a minute. The plates might be modified or, or they got, pre but they go through like, they have like whatever it is, four categories and everything goes into one of those four categories. And then they yeah. pick up one of those categories and then they start sorting that down until they get to this piece goes. And then he doesn't put anything in the store until he has like so many thousand so many of them. one by four red bricks or whatever. Right. He, he probably uses a scale. Well, yeah. but yeah. um, I, yeah, I want to get organized so bad. It's so hard. It, we're all kind of you're. We're kind of in the same boat. We have quite a bit. We have stuff that's overwhelming to a single person. But yeah, we ain't got we ain't got staff right to go and do it. So you got to get it to that next level where it's worth paying somebody to sort yeah. that amount but then now you're paying somebody so now you got to yeah. sell it and you got to sort new it becomes a job it's a lot of work <laughs> so yeah and, and here's a, here's something i haven't filmed that i've done i i'm so i've been selling sets and i, I when you sell a set in a box it's not a open set you need to ship it in a shipping box mm -hmm. and I, I sold quite a few sets and i started running out of the appropriate size boxes so i've actually been dumping stuff out oh no <laughs> of boxes wow. to get a ship so i'm like in a hurry it's like in the morning before i go to work i'm like i need a box where's the bo oh there's one dump this out <laughs> wow <laughs> <Yikes>. <laughs> uh, so you have piles now instead of yeah, boxes. I got, I, yeah. <laughs> all right so we got to we got to do this, and I, we're getting up on like an hour here. I'm sorry. Uh, no, you're fine. Uh, but Thank there's you. a new, huh? Said <laughs> I'm fine. You're fine. <laughs> you're fine too. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so there's a new. Let me go ahead and present it. There's a new uh, survey that I believe you will get fifty points. Oh yes, I hate this survey. Did you take it already? Yes. Okay. Now let me zoom in a little let's, more. Let's show the viewers. Okay. Let me. I'm gonna try and zoom in so that it. It's gonna be hard to read. Is it? I can read it on my big screen here. So. Oh, don't complete it. Oh, you can complete it. I'm gonna start it. Okay. Right. Are, we gonna, are you gonna dox yourself? Well, will it dox me? No, I don't think so. I'll if I if it does, I'll blur it. I always blur okay. it. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of reading. By checking except below, I I accept. <laughs> Okay. Uh, without being interested in participating in our sustainable interactive to reduce paper by buying Lego sets without the paper instructions and instead building with interactive 3D instructions on a free app. No. No, I am not interested. <laughs> if they had said PDF, that would have even been different because PDFs don't disappear one day for no reason. 
Yeah. That is a true statement, but it comes speaking up as later. a person who has lost a hard drive, PDFs can sometimes just disappear. <laughs> well, they can, but they're going to be hopefully there's going to be somebody yeah that has yeah, an yeah. archive of them. You're right. This they, problem they I had with the Batman themselves. eight and one. The Batman eight and one doesn't have PDFs for the additional models. It only okay. has the PDF for the main model, and I'm like, okay, I'm okay with it having to go to the website, but why can I just download it? I got to yeah, do all the little old. animations and stuff. I'm like, I don't want this. Right. There's plenty no, of stuff from like the 2000s sets that were on a CD that you and with an interactive oh, thing. Yeah. And there, somebody has to go through and like screenshot and, and stuff, you know, because yeah. you can't really run it on modern computers and all that. All right. All right. Would you buy a Lego set without paper instructions if it helps make sustainable choices. No. Is there a discount on your next purchase? No. Instructions for alternate builds are available on Lego Builder app. They should be yeah. anyway. <laughs> Insider points are provided. No. The Lego group donates to the environment causes. No. The last one. No. I can't imagine building without paper building That's instructions. That's the only right answer. That there is, is no <laughs> other correct answer. Agreed. If you answered any one of the other ones, <laughs> I don't know you. Yeah. <laughs> You've got to start the course from the beginning. Now, this is the question that infuriates me. Okay, here we go. If you were to buy a Lego set without printed instructions, who would you buy it for? I would not. Yeah, where's, but, the, I where's the, the, the... I would not do this. Yeah, there are no options there. <laughs> Other adults, your enemies. <laughs> that's, what I, that's what I ended up selecting is like, oh, people who I don't like. <laughs> Yeah, our, this is my our unsubscribers. <laughs> well, I'm not going to do it for my children I think and you my have family. To it, but yeah, I would imagine. Well, let's leave it blank and see when okay. we get to the end. Have you tried the interactive 3D instructions on Lego Builder app? To build I have. Lego? I and have it, too. It's yes. awful. Yes, it is. Which of these features have you tried while building? I've done the the you I've can done select the first multiple. Two. Okay, 3D instructions that zoom and rotate. Yeah, I've done that. Fun animations of videos while I build. That's so I've done that in... Stopped. Uh, huh? And then you stopped? Well, I've done it in the... Uh, Mario has something like that. And then the... the uh, yeah. What was it? The video game was like that. Uh, build with families and friends. Build together mode. I've done that. I've not done that one. I have done that. I have no friends or family. <laughs> oh, you have friends. They just don't live close. Um <laughs> I so I have downloaded PDF versions of Lego.com. I have done that. So yeah. I have done all of those. Now, downloading the PDFs off of Lego.com is because I've lost my paper instructions. <laughs> <laughs> you lost instructions? Yeah. I, well, it was or for something I didn't have, or I wanted some something I wanted to build. Yeah, the, I have gone and downloaded them instruct the instructions before, but it was not for uh i'm trying to think i bet you it's right there in that pile and then but any rate uh it wasn't my first choice yeah i guess my first choice if i didn't have them would have been to go into brick link and buy printed instructions <laughs> whatever i was building uh, something and uh, the colors were just like wrong well like the green the gr regular lego green looked like some kind of bright Brightish green is like totally off. And the printed instructions are getting pretty bad about that. Yeah. I've noticed that, like the grays and and stuff. Gray and black, are, dark gray and black is usually. I've had to go back and replace every single one of the that color. <laughs> and, oh, and then then the the uh, the mat, the fl flat silver and dark bluish gray. They I think they try not to put those parts in the same bag now, and they or they try to put a little sparkly thing on it. Yeah. If it uh, yeah. All right, which of these features do you like the wow? Let me try that again. Which of these features do you like the most about the digital building instructions? None of the above. Yeah. 3D instructions that zoom and rotate. I I well they tricked me with the last question. Yeah. I just I just, I, have, I just keep putting I have not used them and move on. Well, but I have, so I can't answer that one. That's what I'm saying. If you if you said you used them, you got to pick one of these. Right. Okay, so fun animations, videos while I build. No, build with family and friends together. That that's in uh, that is actually clever, but I don't know that I would. I would not give up. I know I would not give up. 
you know, sitting there and purposely building something like with Dakota, you know, it, it's it's a it's good. It's it's. Well, they can like do that it. with books too, though. You like can big picnic sets. You you grab book two. You're going to start with bag nine. They make multiple books. Make yeah. multiple. I have ripped a larger manual in half. I've done it. I'm sorry. It, whatever. It's mine. I'll destroy it however I want and then buy another one at Bricklink. <laughs> uh, build with family. For, okay. Download the PDF. Uh, That's the only one I've actually done yeah. willingly. So and, it, I, and there have been certain instances where they were only available yeah. from PDF yeah. after the set came out and it's yeah. like an extra and like that, you know, that's great. But as an alternative to, I do it. I do it for ones where I can't get the print version. Yeah. I guess that's what I'm going to choose. I, I'm torn between the build with together and mm -hmm. the, the other, but again, the build together, I don't want them to think that I would use the app. I would still rather use a manual. And this and is the question that makes me laugh. Question okay. eight. How many sets hmm. have you bought in the last 12 months? Or like, oh, geez. I, 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 aren't you do. special? <laughs> <laughs> like, I think yeah, of how I'm many really adults submit. today. I mean, this would be, if you asked me this question in 1980, it'd be like one or two. But most adults are probably buying that many each week. <laughs> Five. Oh, my God, Joey. All right, other, so we can get through this. It doesn't matter. That's it. That's no, the whole it's survey. Like they're going to say, look at it. And I know. Yeah, they're yeah, they, instructions. They are getting rid of instructions whether we want them to or not. So right. Yeah. It's going away. There's oh, look, the submit button's still active. Can I get 50 more points? No, it, it, you go about and back in. Keep and doing it, man. I'm <laughs> <gonna> keep, <laughs> keep doing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see any points you had before you start? Don't you? I relatively know, but I don't know that I know if I just got two hundred more. No, so that, I, it, only, uh, it only gave me the fifty. Uh oh, uh oh, I'm trying to <laughs> my account. Well, I ain't gonna show my address. Oh, twenty three okay. ninety four. Yeah, I think it gave me. It gave me because I was twenty three eight hundred something. So okay. Yeah. What is it? Twenty six hundred to get two hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah. So I was, I was, I was like. A few hundred from having twenty six hundred, and then I used seventy dollars worth of them on sets, and I used whatever. What's three thousand? How many points is? How many dollars is that? Three thousand uh, divided by thirteen. Five dollars. <laughs> no, it's more like twenty dollars, probably. They keep getting me with the collectibles and like yeah. the little, little uh, classic space. Magnet or whatever. I want the magnet, but it's magnet. just way oh, it's way too many points for me. Have you noticed? I didn't do the, I, I didn't do the math. That's the only reason I got oh, it. That's what they hope. That's what they. That's why they made it. I think that has the reason they made the points the way they are because it's not an easy math conversion. Right. So it's I'm not gonna, like a multiple of ten or something where you can just do the multiple do like said. thirteen. Yeah. I think this is telling right here because this is where you go. You click the rewards button. It brings you to this right. And I got to scroll on this screen. So it's the featured rewards and all yeah. the things that you can. But look, they hide the money. Yeah. So oh, yeah. that's telling you right there. That they don't want you to spend your money. Exactly. They want, you to, they're just, they want you to burn your points. Yeah. Uh, Although that, that Farrell Williams thing, it they didn't. You could have entered that without giving points. But I didn't see it till it expired. That's one of the ones I it wasn't. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, I don't like Lego. <laughs> I don't like Lego. <laughs> I have given Earl the control over the thing. So. Three thousand divided by thirteen thousand <laughs> really equals twenty three dollars. So I spent twenty three dollars on the Batman thing. That'll probably be the set with a poster stuck in with it, like in the back. <laughs> oh, so you're talking about the uh, the the Batman? The yeah. 80, yeah. 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 That's what. So the eighty five. So there. I don't a, have to open it because I've already built all of them. Right. right. Yeah. So they're supposed to be like a a hard stock poster like backdrop. I'm just wondering if it's going to be in the box or outside the box. I don't know. Well, I hope I don't have to open it to get to the poster. Oh, yeah. Originally, it, it it wasn't. 
I think in Australia, it's a gift with purchase. It's not a, you don't, oh, have, you don't to, have to spend your yeah, points. I think you it's get a it. gift with purchase if you buy the, the sure. brickhead thing. So what would you prefer? So Brian, you bought the, you, did you spend your money and got the, the little classic space magnet? Yes. I didn't even know it was a thing until, um, uh, old great bricks. They were talking about it yeah. and I pulled it up right then and there. And I had some, uh, parts and pieces, pieces that I wanted to order. And I was like, okay, okay. let's do it. Yeah, and it didn't, and it was pretty it much, didn't, that was pretty much all the points I had. Cause I, yeah. I don't, you I don't, don't buy, buy a lot. Lego. <laughs> I don't like Lego. <laughs> there you go jason <laughs> yeah um, yeah I, that's one the only thing that's on there right now that i haven't bought with my points that i would like to get but i'm waiting i'm hoping they'll put it on a discount like you know that that lunchbox is still on there yeah that yeah. we like and i was yeah. like they've not marked it down i I thought the two people in the world that wanted it have already gotten it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine that being very popular. I want the the plain gold coin. Thank you. Uh, well, I'm <laughs> present company excluded. <laughs> That's a I still hole. need the plain gold coin. I have all the other. I have the other four, and I have uh, a five slot holder uh -huh. that I've got on eBay. So is it still available? Because I can't tell since I've already bought all of them. It, I, it's I not the available to me. Available. Okay. Um, like the castle and, and space and all that, but not the old. I think it, it might have been the first. I don't know if it's old or mm -hmm. not, but the just original. Yeah. That is like uh, the Lego coin. Like, yeah, right. Yeah. Hmm. But bigger. <laughs> yeah. They had one at Bricks and Minifigs. I think they had all five of them, but I didn't ask how much they were. Yeah. They were so, like out with the for sale stuff or whatever it was up somewhere that's home but before i was out of work i had the shopping cart in fact the shopping cart still there on uh bricklink this seller that had one of the hong kong exclusives with i think it had two coins mm. i really want to get it but it was like 50 bucks mm. but mm. yeah there's not many people those coins that feel different yeah yeah <laughs> yeah yeah so they got me. I, I was going to save my points for the Batmobile, but now I've spent a hundred dollars worth of points already before the Batmobile even came in. I'm waiting for a good gift with purchase. I started to get it, but I don't want to pre-order it. And there's there's no been gift. gift with purchases I wanted. I just could not justify no. buying the sets to get to that no. that much. Yeah, that, that's one of those things. If there's not if there's not something big that I'm going to <clears throat> yeah, I really, really want a modular or or. I mean, if something. it were blue brick sets, <laughs> blue brick <laughs> sets, things right. I can add to my train layout. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah you yeah, know right. that were fairly priced and everything. Right. I'd I'd be all over that. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I'll get what another you... train crossing. You can use more than one. You know, or whatever it is. It's funny how I'm getting more in, in into the. It, it's going to be either a vehicle that's going to go on the layout city. Sorry, girl. Or a modular that goes in the city, or you know something related to. There's only a few things that I don't get. You know, I used I was bad for a while. I finally kind of come to my senses, <laughs> or the bank finally brought me to my senses. One or the other. Yeah. Right. Yeah, being out of work got me to my senses. Yeah. You know, and I think, and I'm. I, th I want to continue this pattern. Like, I'm not going to not buy stuff, but I, it's going to be very more controlled, like it was when I was younger. Yeah. Like I had to really think about it when I was in my twenties, like wait till everything goes on sale. Don't buy things just because I want it. And gotta kill the FOMO. Yeah. Gotta kill the it, FOMO. And it is it is possible to, to kill it. It is. <laughs> yep. And I think uh, again, like I said, Brian said earlier, and I it was is sometimes just getting the, the used stuff and looking for the treasures that way or just getting the parts you need, it's it's a lot more satisfying in a way. Mm -hmm. yeah. I like doing custom stuff. That's been a lot of fun. It's yeah. mostly mods. Like I don't really do that many mocks of my own, yeah. but I really, like all the Mersk style locomotives yeah. I've built, that's been a blast. But what so, killed the, the FOMO for me was the Blacktron gift with purchase. Uh, I, I did get that one and I was like, I'm not not crazy about it. Like I could have lived without this, <laughs> and then that that kind of broke me of the gift yeah. with purchase. Folk. I got I got like ten of the uh, forty year anniversary train, the seventy eight ten train. I, I I was so excited about it, and then I'm like, 
now. I only need one. one. <laughs> Why I bought I one so used, good? pretty cheap. Yeah. <laughs> well, and 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 then with the gifts, with per- they're going to show up on eBay. Yeah. So yeah. you get you're you're going to get them. At, you're going to they're going to be expensive for what they are, but they're going to still be a fraction of what you yeah. had to spend. The the one with the little micro space dudes, I think that's always going to be expensive. So I'll probably I definitely miss that one. Yeah. And that's one I would have wanted to get, but not for it's not worth that much. You mean? Yeah. Right. Right. So, Dylan, um, speaking of yeah. gift with purchase, you got a a lightsaber that's going to be exclusive. Uh, apparently, Luke Skywalker's <laughs> lightsaber is only going to be available with the sail barge. I see we have an opinion in the room. Yeah. Is is there a? Is there... <laughs> oh, I didn't bring my. I don't have my. I it's on the way, Earl. It's on the way. I gotta remember to bring it up here. <laughs> so uh you do collect the lightsabers, don't you, Java? Yeah, but you know how many of them I've built? <laughs> Jacob built. I thought Jacob built them all. He built his own, or like some yeah. some from some guy he got off of uh, a video or something. Oh, so he's building like a mock or, or yeah. Or I don't think I've built the actual Lego set version. One. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I saw that and I was like, I don't want to pay five hundred. I mean, I want to get. I would like to get Jabba Sail Barge because I do collect Star Wars. But I'm like, I don't really need to buy five hundred dollars. <laughs> and what? that's how they get you because they know that's a big purchase. Uh huh. And that's the only time you're going to be able to get allegedly that Luke's lightsaber. But I don't want to pay five hundred dollars for Luke's lightsaber. Right. They know what they're doing for sure. Yeah. They do. And that will be one of the ones that will be expensive. Yeah, yeah, it will be because it's behind a already expensive set, that, and right. it is an expensive set that there will be a, a large number well, of the community that won't. So the only way to cure yourself is to sell your other ones now before this one comes available, uh-huh. and then you won't have any reason to go after this one. There you go. <laughs> uh, or <laughs> the collections, so you don't have to keep it. The, there's a bigger reason. <laughs> I don't have the money. <laughs> <laughs> well, and then the other thing about the sail barge is it's missing what? It's missing two key pieces, like the the little skiff and then the sarlacc pit. It's like, come on. I mean, that should have been included with it. I agree. Five hundred dollars, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. But whatever. So you got to go out and you got to buy the people. People, viewers, um, well, of course, we probably don't have a ton of Star Wars people that watch this, but it doesn't matter what it is. It Stop buying. Stop buying Lego. <laughs> These problems will go away. Yep. <laughs> Blue bricks, keep making better stuff. So that Lego has to bring their prices down. Okay, there we go. I'm, I'm really glad that Lego has competition and that it's yeah. starting to get some traction. They ha- we have to have that. Yeah. Or else Lego's just going to be. Well, they're, they're going to be just. Forever. They're going to stubbornly do what they want, whether the community wants it's like all the stuff with the instructions and stuff and the, the prices. It's just going to keep and switch into sustainable materials. I didn't know that was my screen at first. Oh. <laughs> I was like, I move over here and it moves over here. I hadn't even really looked at this set at all. I well, mean, imagine, it looks imagine good, you're but... a kid and you get you get a eighty ninety dollar set for your birthday, and you can't wait to rip it open, and you open it and it's how am I going to build this? Right. Oh, I got I got to get my mom to download an app yeah. so I can use her phone. Well, and then there is a it, 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 there. Yeah, there's a certain amount of kids that don't have the screens to do this. There's a certain amount of people in the United States that just don't have the internet connection. I mean, it is still a thing. It's hard to, you know, we all have it and we take it for granted, but it is not equally distributed through the population. So, yeah, you get something as a gift or whatever, and you're, you know, a kid who maybe your mom and dad have a phone or whatever, and now you're having to compete for screen time with them or internet is you know the only internet you have is through your phone or whatever so i don't know that it's ambiguous yet to just say anybody that's just the way we need to do it is by getting on through an do any of y'all display your sets in the living room on like a crate like this <laughs> <laughs> that's just, 
<laughs> no. I, but I, I do play with my Lego sets from behind. I do, I, do, I, <laughs> I always look at the back of my Lego sets. I never want to look at the fronts of them. <laughs> Why would you do that? Right. So, hey, I, so think, okay, I, I was well. This is what I was going to say about the instructions. Okay. Is I I have a lot of screen time on my phone. I I'm on a computer right now talking to you guys. So I, I I'm on the internet a lot. But usually when I'm doing Lego stuff, I'm because believe it or not, I don't film everything that I do. <laughs> but it's like I don't have those devices out usually. Right. Right. Now I might be watching TV sometimes when I'm building something or sorting, but I really think. And I'm, and I'm probably going to be in a minority because there's so many people in this world are tied to technology. But I wish that Lego would focus on getting people away from devices. Right. And you'll talk about being sustainable. Get right. people off of the electronics that are tying up all the, 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 the power. <laughs> yeah. Like, have you looked at, like, how much power it takes to do an AI search? Yeah. Because all that, all those numbers have to be crunched somewhere and in the thousands world. of computers, it, tens of ridiculous. thousands of computers. It's, it's insane that while everybody's all on the sustainability kick, at least you know for the PR part of it, we're doing these things that are just insanely inefficient. Yeah, yeah. I, I work in uh, telecommunications, which has fiber optic converters, uh, and they so they run so hot. It's like it's fiber optics. <laughs> Right. But it's so much bandwidth, it generates so much heat. And yeah, I don't think people are realizing that the more they go to digital, it's not really saving anything. My paper, once you built my paper instructions, I got it forever. It's, right. You know, it's right. The tree tree grew back already. And the tree grew back. <laughs> <laughs> well, so they have one of the, they have, I think you sent an article, maybe even talked about it in one of the past episodes of, where they have a, a a president in charge of just this, how much yeah. of yeah, just get rid of that position. Yeah, yeah, you want <laughs> Lego is a building block. It's meant. It's tactile. It's I, it's. I follow Lego on LinkedIn, and it, it is such a self applauding. They're always applauding themselves or how great they're doing. I'm like, stop, stop, just <laughs> just make some bricks and. <laughs> Don't don't make these bricks out of plants. See, I have so much. I because uh, I'm not throwing them away. But if you make them out of plants and they degrade and my yeah. they break, then people are going to throw them away. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's true. Well, I think that Lego Take Back program is hilarious. Oh, yeah, I, I'm going to start the Bricks Are Take Back program. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, and you can send me your crappy. Bricks too. I want. Yeah, you don't have to send the good ones. Yeah, and you, they can even be assembled. <laughs> he'll put them in a box somewhere, and he'll sort them. Yeah, yeah. One day. One day. So, <laughs> so did you guys? Did you guys see on the what Jason and Alex were talking about? Is somebody? Somebody? I guess it was at Brick Slopes talking about renting sets. Oh, did yeah. I, that? That's I, the thing. I didn't know what they were talking about. That's how. That's how. Uh, that's how. Brick, Brick Journal got kicked out of Lego stores. Really? really? Yeah, there was the ad on the back cover of a, a of a company that rented Lego sets. Oh. Uh, I forget what it was called, but it's in you you got you probably could find it from several years back. It's it was it's ads that they ran and Lego caught caught wind of it because it was like on the back cover. So how does this work? Instead of paying a hundred dollars for a Lego set, you pay fifty dollars to rent it as long as you want, and then you send it back. I, I, I mean, for some people, my brother, he'll build a set, and then like either he's either going to like display it or or he'll like sell it to me. He's helped me a lot. Yeah. Of pair of pieces. <laughs> in, in principle, I see why it works because so many people build them and then never touch them again. Yeah. Do you yeah. bricks and mini figs? In? All right. I'll give you twenty dollars for it. Yeah, right. <laughs> but I paid three hundred. Trust yeah. me, it's only worth twenty dollars. <laughs> but there's so, like they said in the, in the podcast, there's so many logistical problems with that. Yeah. I don't understand how anybody could think, let's make this idea work. Like I, I, I can't imagine ever thinking it would like, yeah, like if a, a piece goes missing or a lot that's of kind pieces. Of the first or I've, heard. I mean, I've heard of 
I've heard of people who will build your set for you, <laughs> which again <laughs> makes absolutely no sense to me. But I've never heard of renting yeah. sets. They just want the street cred when people walk in and be, oh, look at that. Did you build that? Sure did. <laughs> it's like the, the Titanic the, the, right there. Oh yeah, that's that's all. It's, me. it's like the uh, people that are uh, the wealth influencers that are going to teach you how to make money, and they go rent yeah. a Lamborghini in a, an right. expensive house, and then they say, look at me, look at all the money I make. Oh, so send me thirty dollars so I can show you how to make this money. Right. <laughs> right. I rent. I rented this Lego set. I rented the, the Jabba cell barge. <laughs> <laughs> So I could look at the back of it because it never show you on the the picture. I, I have this. I have a uh, is the dark blue spaceman the best one? And I think we'll do our opinions, but uh, or whatever one you think. But I think we're gonna make that a uh, a poll. How are you gonna make it a poll? There's like forty different colors. <laughs> well, okay. We'll we'll see what the best. We'll see what the color choices come out of this. We'll, we'll we'll pick what is it four options or five options I think okay and then and then because I I don't know that everybody's going to say that the dark blue is their favorite so I don't I don't know we'll see dark blue is my favorite so so far I'll tell you my least favorite oh, okay my least favorite is white white, white. okay really my, okay. My, my my old white turns. things all they look bad yeah my bad. favorite one is the black one he looks okay. skinny. He's a cool one. Looks skinny. I would like to have one. Black they have one at Bricks and Minifigs for like twenty-five dollars or something. Oh my like, goodness! Nope. See, that's, that's why I don't go to Bricks and Minifigs. <laughs> like, like I said, there's going to be things you scoff at, but there's going to yeah. be other things like, yeah, yeah, it's not bad, or at least yeah. well for me. Well, that if there was me. one, if there was one in Cartersville, Georgia, I would go to it. I don't think there's so I don't think their used sets are that expensive. I want to say that expensive. I mean, I don't think they're that far off. Out of range. I just don't think that if you it were depends on what, what the set is. and then you take into account the shipping, like Brian mentioned yeah, earlier. Yeah. yeah, the um, Luter Lander set. I, I've almost bought it every time I went in there. I think it's like fifty bucks. I don't know what that yeah. retailed for, but like for me, it, I'd buy it if I had somewhere to put it. They, yeah, they have to make what the money. a hundred dollars. Which Lunar Lander are you talking about? The, the, the uh, I can try to find it. Got the two little astronauts, and it's got the gold. On it, yeah, it's got like gold pieces on it. It helps if you spell it correctly. Um, <laughs> is this it? Is it this one? Uh, it is that one, yeah. I would get one on eBay for 88. Does it China, have the though. minifigures? I'm pretty sure I had the minifigures. Does it have all the stickers? I didn't look that close at it, but um. Does, These are the questions, though. Yep. Does it have? Any, <laughs> but that, so for fifty bucks, that's if it's complete. That's a that's, good that's a that's a very fair price. So mm -hmm. I I uh, what breaks so many figures? This is in Florida. This is in Jacksonville, Florida. <laughs> Jacksonville. I'm sorry, Jacksonville. Figs <laughs> for hating on all the other ones I've seen. <laughs> Now yeah, this like I said, I've, I've, this is a sample size of one. I've only been to yeah. one Bricks and Minifigs yeah. in the in the country. Yeah, it looks like it's a hundred dollar set. So yeah, half price. Yeah, I'm I'm good with that. Did we just convince you to go buy? It? And yours probably that one probably looks clean. Mine's got dust all over it. <laughs> My goodness, I haven't looked. I haven't got them to take it down from the shelf to really look at it yet. <laughs> I, I would need somewhere to put it. That's what's holding hold me off from it. Is I I'm out of shelf space. It's, man, aren't we all? <laughs> I don't really have any display, I, dedicated display space in there. Well, you need a new shelf. I just let you know that the 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 motors don't work anymore, so it doesn't oh, fly. It doesn't fly. Oh yeah. yeah so. <laughs> Your astronauts are stranded forever. Yeah. All right, so we got dark blue, black. Any other opinions? I like the orange one. Orange. Ooh, good, good. Okay. This is really tough for me. I can't put on her not white. <laughs> no. I guess I can put anything but white. <laughs> anything but white. <laughs> so we, what we what we got? Dark blue, black, black and orange. Orange. So you got you got red, white, pink, um, pink. Gray, gray, purple, green, oh. yellow, dark red, oh. brown. 
Okay. Oh, the dark reddish brown. I, I think the bastard the, 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 <laughs> I, I liked him because I liked all the uh, like EPS mods yeah. that people were doing or mods. Yeah, oh, that was pretty cool. All right, so I'm gonna have to go with purple. Purple. Oh, then I still don't have a, a purple one. But I, I think I, I have I, one of the little gift with purchase bags that has air tanks or some some part of it. Got the it helmet. Hmm. Got the helmet. The air so, tanks is what's what's. So dark blue is one of those colors that when I'm like parting out sets and putting things into my BrickLink store, I'm like, I like that color. Yeah. I do like dark blue. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to make but, a survey and I'll okay. leave the other and put in, everybody put in red. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, I want to see what, uh, what everybody thinks is their favorite. Uh, it's not classic, but yeah, the classic spaceman, the classic style. Yeah. So, yeah. Dark blue. Uh, dark, a, dark blue. You know, for, uh, we just got to get the right. Uh, we need the helmet in the air tanks. Air tanks. Yeah, we need the air tanks still. Well, dark I think... blue was a contender for the Mersk train when I was looking for an alternate color. It was between that was one of the ones I was looking at. So right. yeah, look. Did they ever make a purple? Regular, yeah, they did. That was in the Chinese thing. Yeah, and then yeah. what about the gray one? Is there an actual gray space? I don't. I think, or is it still a motorcycle helmet? I, I can't look at mine because it, it's missing the pink guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, somebody pointed that out for me. <laughs> missing the pink guy. Yeah, he's not on yeah. it. He's falling off or something. But I have six boxes of them. But it's on the very bottom. It's like uh -huh. it's like tub four, and there's four on top of it and a bunch of crap stacked on top of that and I just haven't had the time to dig it that out. sounds like a video. Excuses, oh. excuse, yeah, make a video excuse about it. is what it sounds like, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I was oh. looking, I was like, wait, something's missing. I was yeah. like, Joey, where's your pink guy? <laughs> <laughs> he was missing. He was missing. He, he's here somewhere. I had a pink guy. Earl, do you want to go ahead and do Yeah, some let comments? me find them. Let me find them. Uh, uh, come up with a topic for the for the for the brick and news while I'm looking for them. For the brick and news. Oh, they did answer our first one. Mm -hmm. FOMO. What was our second one? Because we did them already again. Uh, uh, oh no, let's just ask them. What is what is your favorite spaceman color? Yeah, and hopefully by this by the time you see this, our poll is up. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll be talking about the poll when nobody has responded to it because we didn't put it up there. I will put it up. I will schedule it. I will. I will. I will do it. I don't have to go to work in four in the morning, so I I can do it right after we quit. <laughs> oh, I, so the last two of these we filmed, I didn't have to go to work the next day. Now I do. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, and it is. It's it's already what eleven for you, isn't it? It's getting no. It's ten. It's ten forty. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay, you ready? Are we I'm ready? ready. We're ready. All right. Judy3973, thanks for calling me out as a new member. I enjoy your channel, especially the A Fool podcast. Thank you, oh. Judy. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Ty no Novell, aka Tylenol. I think you guys are the best dealing with your viewer, subscribers, members. You answer the questions, interact with them, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Well, we do try. We yeah. try, yeah. Fortunately, we don't have a ton. Yeah. <laughs> and we there do have to a, be a point we, where it would be tough. And we do have a couple phone of friends. If you ask us questions, you know, if you ask yeah. us <laughs> power or electricity, we can call Brian. <laughs> uh, <and a> gal <laughs> or, or if you're just randomly going through the day, Earl will butt dial you. <laughs> <laughs> And apparently, if you want to learn how to not record your podcast, now we can call Jason. Jason, <laughs> I've actually done that. So. Oh. Uh, in a galaxy far, far away, I've been going back and watching the past podcast videos and discovered an unusual connection to you and the Bricking News guys. I'm an old guy that grew up in Indiana, and my stepdad is from your area. Uh, from your area, Brick Trains. I live in. I lived in South Mississippi a few different times, and I've been to Mardi Gras Man's town a few times and have friends that live there. I lived south of Greenville, South Carolina, where I worked for MCI and Quest on their fiber network, which took me close to Bricksar's area. Mm 
Mm. Finally, I now live in Salt Lake City, which puts me close to the breaking news guys. Wow. Seems like a very small world to have lived near each of you. And no, I'm not stalking anymore. anymore. <laughs> I just happen to move around a lot. By the way, it's fun watching the old videos. It's like knowing the future as you talk about rumors <laughs> of upcoming sets back then. <laughs> Speaking of moving, did you ever, have you ever thought about how you would move all this stuff we've acquired? See, I moved before I started YouTube up again. And that was, it wasn't that bad. Yeah. Uh, I mostly moved all my stuff by, by myself. But now... I think about it all the time. I'm yeah. like, this is insane. I mean, it's, I've been here 20 years, so it'd be harder than ever. But I moved four times before that, wow. and like I originally, what percentage the problem, of your collection did you have 20 years ago? Would you oh, say? Uh, it probably 10 percent. Then, <laughs> yeah, yeah, so 10 times worse now. Yeah, I mean, just imagine, uh, yeah, exactly. just imagine your basement. If you had to move your everything in your basement. Well, this is what we, so when we moved into this house, we had enough room a few months after to put all of my in-laws furniture in the basement temporarily while they were moving. So we had like all of their stuff in our basement. Then when we took all of their furniture out. My kids could ride their bicycles in the basement. Wow. That's how much room I had. Before. <laughs> uh, but I still had all those. The, like, the biggest problem for me was I had the comic book collection and I didn't, we didn't live far enough away, so I would what I would do is I'd fill up the the van as much as it could carry without overloading it, and just I do do trips because we were in a fortunate position where I didn't have to move like in one day. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I just did a lot of trips, but now that's what I did a lot I, of trips. Yeah, yeah, it'd be a nightmare. Okay, Blockhead UK. You asked about the part which comes in the most colors. I don't know. So she's doing the homework. Yeah. Oh, I, I thought she does. So I asked our new elementary resident data expert, Toby Mack, who is also a whiz at for Rebrickable, his reply, why well, I have never thought of this question myself. What? Three, 3023, which is a one by two plate, there's 80 different colors. So that that makes complete sense. Yeah, I would have thought a one by one or a one by two. A one by one, there's 75 different colors. That's a one by one brick. A one by one plate, there's 74 different colors. Mm. A one by two tile with groove, there's 70 different colors. And a one by four tile, there's 67 different colors. Uh, these are unique parts with printed versions counted as separate parts, so not counted for this purpose and splitting mold variation. Ignoring prints, the top five stays the same, but 3069B gets three more colors. So that's what we like. We like when our viewers do the homework for yeah, us. So we don't, yeah, they think so we don't have to. <laughs> so thank you for that. So 80, 80 different colors of a one. There you go, Joey. You, you need to make a one by two. Yeah. Card. But I have over, I have almost like 110 different it's colors of two by four brick. It's but funny when you, you say ball, that. Right? That's what uh, there are several one by two clusters up there. Yeah, I did, and I did that all by accident. And you can make a one by two cluster that's the size of a. Yeah, I mean, there's four. your two by four. Yeah, you, you just. Yeah, we've tried to get her on a couple of times, but yeah. you know, it's, it's different. It's Five hours behind us, and her yeah, head she's like us. Most of us. She has a job and things to do, and it, it's tough. But how dare she? <laughs> uh, I mean, Joey, I guess we could do it in the middle of the afternoon, but hey. yeah, <laughs> just tell him you're uh, on strike. <laughs> I was about to say, Joey, John Boca Bocachora. Yeah, AI says that the Lego piece that comes in the most colors are the one by two brick and the two by four plate, both of which have been produced in 49 different colors. It's wrong, AI is wrong. AI is wrong. Is wrong. And it, he just he just spent. 10 million kilowatt hours <laughs> to, to do the calculation that was wrong. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, moving on. SG Bricks. Go, glad Bricks are reminded me to, to like the episode. Contributing to that 1 million views. Yes. I watched the episode in two episode and two episode watched the three shorter views of an hour and a half and 30 minutes and 25 minutes 
Greens SG from Belgium. Yeah, I, I do that a lot with uh, with their podcast because I'll watch it on my way home from work, <clears throat> then I'll watch it on my way back to work for or lunch, and then I'll watch it on my way home. And sometimes, so if I watch it four different times, that, yeah. they get four views out of views, me. Yeah, <laughs> I felt I, I felt so how bad for watch them. time versus view and all that kind of stuff. Like how that actually worked out on the back end. Like when I watch the A Fool podcast, I watch it usually Friday throughout the day, driving from here yeah. to there uh-huh. in pieces. Yeah, yeah, I, I could watch this all one time fine. too. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and so the the their last episode where they filmed the whole thing and then came to the realization that it didn't record or stopped recording while Alex was talking. <laughs> that was that was so. <laughs> and I was like, they look so. In fact, the entire rest of the episode, they still just look so disheartened. And I was and, like, I know the feeling. I, I like to get talk. It, it's one. Th- it'd be one thing if they filmed a ten minute clip, but to do an hour and a half, probably. It, right. it always reminds me of that um, Tenacious D song. You know, Jack Black. This is not the greatest song in the world. This is just a tribute because we did it one time and we we weren't recording. And you know, whatever. <laughs> so this, this is just a song about that song, but it isn't. That's wrong. I wonder if he didn't have it in airplane mode or something. Because you tra- you taught me that trick. Because I recorded a couple, just you know, regular YouTube videos, and I'll get a text message. It's like, ah. and he, I think it was you. Yeah, and it said, stops recording. You yes. don't know, but they would have had the audio because they have those wireless mics. Yeah, oh. but is that worth anything? I mean, it would have been for the audio podcast. Yeah. I mean. Is it actually recorded separately, or are those audio mics going to the phone that's recording? Mine do. Like, if my phone stopped, my my microphone would still record. Keep recording. He has hmm. different ones than you, though. He has the... Okay. J, uh, whatever it is. Yeah. Um, so this is and, a Rode mic, but it just, line, it just yeah. lines in. in yeah. yeah. So the the one of the recent videos the, a couple of days ago that I did, uh, the audio... I don't know if I didn't plug the it into my phone good enough, and it was no audio. Mm. But I knew it was on the mic, so then I, I got to sync up, and it was it was one of those weird things where I thought, like, okay, let me. So you have to <laughs> scroll, and I and I put it on there, and when I put it there, it was synced. I was like, it's the first time I've ever done it on the first try where I got it wow. synced. Because <laughs> yeah, sure. usually it's like a if it's a half a second off or a quarter second off, you can tell, and it's. Well, you you usually uh, you do part of your video where you see yourself, and then the end of your video. Yeah. But that middle part, which is usually the bulk of your videos, it wouldn't matter if it's a half a second off. Nobody's going to yeah. see your lips moving. Yeah, yeah. So you could cut it. But the problem days. with that sometimes it's filmed in clips, and my microphone um, records everything, even if I'm not recording on my uh, phone. Yeah. So then I got to cut those out, and and then if something moves on the table. <laughs> and the sounds like five seconds later. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So fortunately, the because I didn't plug it in, though that video, those behind the cameras, the camera, I was close enough to the camera, it actually did pick it up. Okay. But the ones where I was in front of the camera, I was so far away, it sounded terrible. But uh, I was able to sync the audio with the wireless mic. But those those mistakes, it's like I've been doing this for. <clears throat> Couple of years now, and still make still make those same mistakes that they make. It's like, yeah, I, I you'll see. I even sometimes I don't cut it out of the video. It's like, am I recording? Yeah. <laughs> like for mine, when I plug in the microphone, I have to remember to set it to use the microphone. Oh, by that's default, it won't. It'll just use. Oh, the, I didn't know. The one on the phone. Yeah. Uh, Geology Joe rocks about those sticker shops get the images from i know that from my own experience they can be reproduced fairly easily like joey said about the smaller parts of a logo that combine into the image back in the late 90s i used to recreate candy bar logos in adobe illustrator but would change the lettering to curse words and then, <laughs> and then paste those over the real logos on the candy boxes on displays in the campus bookstore where I worked for years. <laughs> also, I do keep the empty sticker sheets in my instructions, and I have no Whoa. idea why. And I have no I idea one why. Day. <laughs> uh, Ty no- Novell, I was inspired by the 83 catalog to have a space base. 
There have been many variations of it over the years in different places I've lived at. They have been built and unbuilt many times over the moves. Yeah, that's like creating a mock and then tearing it apart and trying to recreate it. And it's never the same. Right. Uh, Johnny G. Yep. I keep the sticker used sheets, bags, and boxes. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't keep the bags. I yeah. use them. I send them to you people that buy yeah. them. <laughs> yeah. I do the same. Yeah. I don't know if it's annoying or not, but I'm like. Uh-oh. The only downside for me is the uh, audio. Oh, yeah. When you, like if you're doing an unboxing. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. So, I'll, like, sometimes I'll, like, open them and pour them out, and then I'll talk about yeah. the pieces or something. But not everybody uh, records everything they do like we do. <laughs> yeah. Uh, fire away. Oh, oh, okay. Before you go, talking about that, the audio or the sound of the crack. So, I part out while we're watching TV. And that's the one thing I think it annoys my wife. She's like, would you just hurry up? Because yeah. <laughs> like, open all the bags real quick. <laughs> right, yeah. Heather just pauses it. She's yeah. like, I start opening bags. She's like, pause. You done yet? <laughs> yeah. I'm like uh, that because I, 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 my I wife don't like will, missing that one important piece of dialogue. Yeah. In a, in yeah. a movie my wife will just turn the TV up. <laughs> 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 Firelink, yeah, I noticed that in the interview they did about the Bricklink program. He said one modular referring to the Brick Cross train station. However, they had the Venetian houses, the Lego store, the bowling alley, the construction site, and the 48 by 48 studgate train. Yeah, I think those were before. I think those, like Series 1, came after those, if that makes sense. Right, (laughs) yeah. Series 1 was really Series 3, I think. This is... It's, it's like Lego and numbering systems. Mm-hmm. Series one. Uh, then you have uh, the 40th anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> then it's series one of uh, The Simpsons. But that's the 27th series of CMS. Yeah, I and then I, I think he did say that the Brick Cross Station was an exception. Oh. Whenever he was talking about it, I, I just knew I, I knew all the boxes said Bricklink on them. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, there I mean, you go. Uh, Chris go. Bricks at the hour twenty four minute and forty five second mark. I actually bought a case of the D and D CMF because all I see is useful torsos, weapons, accessories for my custom castle Viking and Fright Night army builds. Well. Well, if I you're a castle it. collector, yeah, yeah. yeah. If you're castle or any kind of fantasy stuff, I there is a. There's a ton of really nice looking torsos and stuff in there, but yeah, it's yeah. When I got to looking through, I was like, "Wow, there's a Why lot." There's going to be more, a lot. The huh? more popular something is, is the less I want it. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, for your great big giant castle display, yeah. <laughs> uh, Geology Joe rocks. My Saturn V set is already yellowing. Some pieces. Oh no! Oh, that's crazy. Some pieces more than others, despite coming from the same box. Oh. Jabo, I'm also waiting for the actual bricks to come out in the new reddish orange color. I really like that color, but the only option on the brick on the pick a brick of whatever. That's so not some <laughs> specialized piece. Is a one by two plate. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I used to like the new elementary people. You know, they're always right on top of all this new stuff, but. I've gotten lazy the last few years. Like I used, always want to see if there's going to be a new two by four brick. Car. Right. right. But it's like they've probably made some, and I just haven't paid attention to it. Yeah. So I don't even know what this reddish orange looks like. Do you have it? Uh, I'm on your. Yeah, what what part did you say it was? What's in that? In the comment. What part did he say it was in the comment? Um. He says I'm actually. For actual bricks to come out, oh. I like to go. Oh, it's a one by two plate. What is that? It's a Duplo bucket. Oh, that's the color. Okay, that's the color. All right, so they've not made it in regular bricks. I, I don't. Oh, know. That, and, and and Lego, you don't want to take back my Duplo. No <laughs> point of stipulation in their thing. Yeah. What about the kids that want the Duplo? Right. <laughs> uh. Ty Novell, I got my set 1593 from a mail order catalog company back in the day. 
It does not refer to the other two sets at all on the box. The alternate models from the back are unique to this box as well. Huh. That's the 15. Uh, That's the one that it, it can be built from the yeah, two other, the other sets. Two sets. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, yeah, we've, I guess we kind of opened up a controversy worm there about this because we said that it was uh, a mail in for the instructions, right? But, he, but you yeah. could get a box set. Yeah, and he said, yeah. you know, he, he says he had it. But it's also, I never leave the possibility out that both of those options could have been. Well, <laughs> and that's what I think has happened is yeah. we know that Lego loves to redo and do. So if they had a lot of two things were happening there. They either had a lot of those other sets that they were trying to liquidate. Hey, let's make an instructions that use these parts and we'll, yeah. we'll whatever. Well, that wouldn't. Yeah. And then hope to sell those sets or they decided, Hey, that was a popular set. And then they decided to make more. I don't know. I, who knows? You know, it'd be really cool if Lego made a set and then later they made a new set but the set used all the exact same parts from another. So instead of it being like a two in one, right. It's another set, but they don't tell anybody they did that. And then somebody does the inventory or they look at the brick link inventory and they're like, wait, these are all the same parts. Right. That would be neat. You know, everybody loves, loves it when they have the sets that go together. Yeah. Right. When you, you, you I, I like the, the well. That's when I collected Castle. I collected Castle when you could. Is that what you mean? Like you can yeah, yeah. No, them together exactly. or they yeah. fit. The, and so when they stopped doing that, I stopped buying Castle. Well, there's a there's a Milano, and then there's Rocket. Oh, so. Yeah, yeah. That's who it's named after. I know. <laughs> and there's a uh, and there's a Rocket Ship, and it's two separate sets. And when you buy them, they, they, can they go together. Yeah. Okay. Kind of it's like part of the appeal of, of trains. You just sure. Add on to your train. Just get more cars. That's and, the easiest one to do. Yeah. And, yeah. What they would that not help you. their sustainability thing too? It's like, hey, here's how to keep making track. What well, if, what if you, the cargo train they come out with one what every three years? And yeah. What if in the years between they came out with new cargo wagons to put to your cargo mm -hmm. train? That I tell you why they don't do that. Because they know the limitations of their motors. Yeah, no, that's I think the same so. reason they didn't put a motor in the um, Orient Express. Orient Express. No, I agree there. There. So they don't. Yeah. They well, what happened is if they made extra, and I think this is why we don't get the extra packs, is because people would be putting ten freight cars on their train, and then a year from now their motor burns up, and they're calling Lego, "Hey, my motor burned up." Right. Or it just won't run. It yeah. just slips. Yeah. 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 No, I think. Uh, yeah, right. that's true. Yeah. I wonder if my own train and a nine volt, if that's what happened there. If they just and might have been, they might have started getting some complaints a few years yeah. after it started. And there might have been some confusion about. I ordered this locomotive, but it didn't have any of the colored pieces, and they're like, "No, it's a separate pack or whatever." Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, they're ordering from the catalogs and couldn't figure out the. Yeah. But yeah, when you could uh, when you can order fifteen hopper cars, and your train can only pull three. You know that's a problem. I, and really, the Santa Fe is over. It's really overloaded. Oh yeah. If you, that's, put, if you only use one motor, it's overloaded. That's why I got a B unit. Yeah, and that's yeah. B unit with two motors, big battery. If Four you want to learn more about how to properly power your long trains, watch Battery Power Bridge. There you go. That's exactly right. Yes. <laughs> I'm yeah, just the is, messenger. That was folks and he is the guy on your bricks, and then people in my Discord. He is the Radio Shack of the YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> I want to have a little more longevity. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Rip Radio Shack. Uh, yeah, Ty Novel also says I used to keep my sticker sheets just like Jabo in the instructions, but over time. Some of them have had their glue bleed out and stick my instructions together. Oh, yeah. So Ooh, these days, I don't even bother keeping them. Yeah. And then he also says, Google tells me that the Duplo brick 2x2 two two is in 53 colors, has the most colors. That was seven years ago. Brick well, set said three years ago that it's a tie between the 1x2 and the 2x4 plate. The 1x2 brick and the 2x4 plate with 49. Well... Well, that AI yeah. was worse. Worse for you than it was for the other guy. <laughs> uh, 
are and grow around 44 minute mark jabo you are talking about a video you recently made taking off which one are you referring to just out of curiosity i do know it was on trains are fun yeah it's my other channel it's a, a video i got a about a 20 year old wooden train set the flying scotsman train mm -hmm. set i did an unboxing of it and it did really well it's still doing good. Is it's like, it's like it's being watched by eight, 18 times more of your viewers than normal. <laughs> and so that says to me that okay, if my regular viewers watch it more, then the video will get promoted more to other new people. Right. Which is true. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But I have the thing is, I don't know why my viewers I, I need to, I, I won't get the comments from them of why. <laughs> Maybe you should poll your viewers. Yeah. Why, you why did you watch this? <laughs> like I've got that uh, G scale James set downstairs from Thomas. I was like, Maybe I should just open it and make a video. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's like, I, yeah, I try to do stuff like, okay, that the, for whatever reason, those James videos do well. I try to do it again and it doesn't. It's like you my one. video. That was okay. my most successful for a long time. Yeah. I did part two. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I got part gold two's here. Never work. Yeah. yeah. And it might have even been a better one. It, well, you're old it is. I think it is yeah. a better video. Yeah. You're old enough to know that part twos don't work. Always <laughs> a disaster. You should have called it part two or <laughs> electric boogaloo. <laughs> uh, J W Ball. Here you go, Joey. I bought two six packs of D and D minifigures, hoping to get a full set, and I got six different figures in one box, and three in the second box that weren't in the first three. They weren't in the first, and three were duplicates. Yeah. I thought each six pack would have all the same figures or all different, but I was wrong. I haven't seen the series in Target or Walmart yet, so I just bought the last three on Bricklink and gave the duplicates to my kids. Yep. So they're not different packs unless you get lucky they're just guaranteed to have six supposed different. to be guaranteed to have six well, different well, ones joey's first shipment was <laughs> yeah. all different yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. all 12 of them were all in there yeah <laughs> <laughs> it, Joe, why did you open the individual ones before you opened the ones in the box because i knew i was going to open both boxes uh, I, there was wow. no way i was going to get them all okay but wow. uh chris bricks at the 50 minute mark the replica stickers are awesome and have allowed me to work on my classic town build. I I could see it bothering a true vintage sticker, but as a builder, it's great to have these high quality reproductions. Are some I, of them Jabo where you can't really tell the difference? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Some of them are really, really good. Yeah. Uh, you think of how many good train stickers are, are out there. <laughs> For I'm you know what even the Lego the ones that like um, brick model railroad or got mm -hmm. are those water to... slides? Some of them are the 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 where I have to watch instructions on how they to put them on because there's like two oh, sets yeah. of you got to peel this off and then peel that off is that is that what they a water oh no those? that that's the ones where you have to peel the backing and then you still have a front that's the stuff that goes through like a cricket where they're actually yeah, they cut well, it and I'm talking well, about, about a true. That... When I was a kid, you'd buy a model, and it was like you'd have to put this thing in water, and water, it would come yeah. off the oh, back. No. And no, they weren't that. No, like you look, oh, when you say water slide is yeah, they slide around because they're Napoleon. wet. I mean, um, they're O gauge is really close to six wide Lego, and I use some uh, water slides for some Union Pacific stuff, and I they are the best looking because they're usually clear. Background. You don't see any lines or anything. Oh, but here's no. the problem. When you're a model railroader or a model airplane kit guy or a model, what do you usually do? You're going to overcoat that with oh, put clear, clear coat on it. Yeah. Guess what? They don't hold up on Lego. Really? No. They. Oh, they if you don't put, off. wait, have you it's tried the handling? If you hand, if you touch it at all and, and it's going to come off, but it, have you tried putting the clear coat on it? I have not because I'm not See, spray painting my train. <laughs> <Lego>. <laughs> Nobody You're right. Know. Why why is it that the model train guys can just they can cut and glue and screw and and saw and <laughs> and, and paint and they're fine, but Lego people are like, no, I'm not touching that. 
No, yeah. those third party stickers? No, 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 no. <laughs> can't have that. Well, I you know, I got my I have a list, my daughter, because she has a cricket. We have a cricket. My wife has a cricket. Well, her and her friend. Earl, the cricket. Yeah. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. <laughs> and I missed it. Uh, no, I'll say it again, but she's got a cricket and she's gonna make me some stickers. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> the cut out. Yeah, yeah I, I could tell you a cricket story from my wife's cricket if you would like to hear it. Sure. So the last hurricane, what was it? Ida. I think it was Ida. The very last one was Francis. Uh, the one, <laughs> Same the with one before Francis, that. Yeah. The one before that, I think it was Ida. So we we always we usually go stay at my daughter's house because she doesn't have tree. You know, it's we just have trees and so many pine trees. So. We're, we're, I get off work and she, and you know, we come by the house I'm trying to get stuff together. And I'm picking, you know, this one was going to be bad. So I, I go in my room where I got everything stored. And I'm like, you know, if water gets in here, it's just too much for me to deal with. So uh, she's like, well, you need to video it. Okay. So I go in the bedroom. She's got her, her brand new cricket that she hasn't even used in a suitcase to take with us. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about my twenty thousand dollar Lego collection. Let's save this three hundred dollar cricket. <laughs> oh my goodness! Yeah, buddy. <laughs> uh, and and she still don't use it. Yeah. yeah. What's the thing that you've lugged around the longest that you've never used? <laughs> yeah, after move after move after move, and it just. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I know what Heather would tell you. <laughs> it's the uh, the exercise bike, isn't it? Yeah. Oh man! Or the treadmill? Is it the thing that the she gives a hug? Yeah, the thing she gives a <laughs> hug to. Yeah. <laughs> I think I finally got the treadmill buried. It's under the staircase, and there's a uh, a uh, set of lockers from the high school in front of it. So mm. if we leave, the lockers are staying, and I'm going to forget about that treadmill bike. <laughs> uh, Archaeologists will find that. Sin killer Tachikawa, in regards to unreleased images, I believe Jabo is looking for the term data mining. Yeah, I think that's what it was. you were looking. You were, yeah, something like that. You, you know, were talking yeah. about R and Grow. So glad I already had the dark blue motorcycle helmet, and I won't be going to buy any big set only for air tanks or the correct helmet. Yes, they're it. doing it on purpose. It's not terrible. I, IMO. Uh, I'll get it eventually through the pick a brick online or even Bricklink. I will not appreciate it if Lego will make it available on these new colors even harder to attain. Just saying they're listening shouldn't have said it. Oh, well. <laughs> those, those air tanks are going to be in Java's sail barge. Well, oh. you know, that would be funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like in the refrigerator in that little canteen <laughs> area. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't put it past him. Uh, yeah, that would be. Can you imagine somebody buying the five hundred dollars sale bars just to get the air tanks? Yeah, but we'll could you imagine how much the air tanks would cost then? Uh, oh, be they'd great. be a fifty dollar piece. And why is it they do stuff like that and then they don't put it on bricks and pieces? You know, I've checked for those torsos every day, and sometimes twice a day. And they haven't hit yet. You haven't hit yet. Or yeah. something sells for way inflated price on Bricklink, they win too if they own Bricklink. Yeah. So I, I, that's the only thing I can think. I, do yeah. they? I mean, they got to because they're they sold well, they, the original set. Yeah, sold. but they just get their their fees. They don't get. No, yeah, I mean the the secondary market. That's yeah, they don't charge enough fees. I I oft, often no, no, please don't say that. Yeah, I know. I know. It's I the know. one thing that Lego has got right. You have some wood by you, Joe. You can knock on. You're just like don't do that either. It's like <laughs> <laughs> it's like stop doing the things. <laughs> I I often wonder because like other things that are connected to Bricklink get a higher percentage. Like PayPal, yeah. people that use PayPal get PayPal makes more from Bricklink sales than Bricklink does. Lego does and Bricklink. So I haven't the sold in a long time. I don't from, know what the fees look like nowadays. Well, three percent and it goes down the more you sell. Yeah, the thing about Bricklink is is it has very little overhead. You have the computers for the servers, 
but they only had like a half a dozen to a dozen people working for yeah. them when Lego bought them. It was a very small amount of people. Uh, and they still get a lot of uh, free support from fans and users. Oh, all of it's still supported through yeah, the fans. Yeah. It's, it's crazy. But I, now things like the BrickLink designer program worry me. Because yeah. that is taking staff. That Alex, you know, Alex, that Alex and Jason keep interviewing Alex. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, we're paying for his salary at this point now. So, uh, but hopefully the BrickLink designer program is bringing. I love money. Lego. <laughs> not that alex yeah, he, he, yeah. <laughs> all right well, Rogue. we got more oh yeah mayo mayo <laughs> says i bought reproduction shell stickers once and they were oversized i make do with them but they are more unsightly than the sets uh then set 612 and 614 yeah i've, I've bought marish marish mm -hmm. ones because i made some extra container cars and i didn't like them they had a white backing and they were a little big so then i bought another set mm -hmm. of the um with the clear transparent backing. yeah it's like these people some of these people that make the stickers don't have the actual sticker set mm -hmm. or sticker like at least they, even if they didn't have the original stickers could you put them on some pieces to see if they fit right, right. Well, it's funny like you don't have to have the actual brick we're a chinese seller on ebay a brick, uh, brick visions, I think is what it's called. But yeah, some of the best ones I've gotten were from them. From them. Oh wow! Uh, Battery Power Brick says it's been fifty episodes since his first appearance, and he feels old. <laughs> You're older yeah. than you've ever been now. Hence the anniversary <laughs> edition, guys. Yeah, yeah. So now uh, you know how to get on the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every fifty episodes, I'll yeah. be like, "Hey guys, I know, remember me? I know Jason's the new favorite, but if I can oh. just get on one more time." Oh. <laughs> I almost didn't make it. My router died at midnight last night. Oh no! I'm not talking like a little Linksys router. This is a one U server rack appliance with four. Um, no, I'm using five of the network interfaces on it because that's I do stupid stuff like that. And so, like oh, at midnight, I'm like firing <laughs> up this old like shuttle PC that has two network interfaces, and luckily I was able to just transplant the hard drive over. But oh wow! I was like, I gotta be on the podcast tomorrow. <laughs> uh, um, Ty Novell, Novell, LOL. I like the first thing that Earl did was to call out Joey about the lag in the previous episode. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he also when he says, knock on wood on good. Yeah. <laughs> he also says it's a pity that the white yellows at different rates, even if it's from the same sets. Uh, yeah, LBG really also yellows and I have been spending time the past few weeks separating out a pile of yellow LBG Lego and stashing them somewhere where I don't have to look at them. I wonder yeah. if it's possible to send yellowed bricks back to Lego and get <laughs> new bricks in return. It has to be because Jamie has coined the term uh, oh, what was it? He said the uh, golden glow. Or... Talk, talk about that. Yeah, we skipped, like we that. skipped over that in the notes. Talk about that a little bit. What's that? You put in here, buy back your Lego or bring something. Yeah, well, uh, Jabbo's about? been making fun of it. It's it's uh, it, yeah, they want to buy back your sets basically. But it's, you have to disassemble them. Yeah, there. They can't be any Duplo in it. Right. Um, it has to be, be really old. It has to be in really good condition. Yep. And there were some other stipulations of stuff are, they don't want. Are they yeah. opening a bricks and minifig store? Basically, it looks like. It, yeah. <laughs> I mean, are they going to buy them cheap? But I, I don't know what they. They don't say what they're giving you for it. Yeah. It's like store credit. Are so they doing with them? Do that yeah, I don't know. Hmm. I wonder if they're just going <laughs> to melt them down. Probably going to melt them. They're, yeah. They're well, why, then, why would they care if they were? Good or not? If because yeah. it doesn't cost them anything to take them from people, and then the people that are taking them from is going to be buying stuff from them and thinking they're getting a better deal because they're giving a little discount. No, I get that. Yeah, but if they're just going to melt them, <clears throat> you know, we, were, we were talking about offline. We were talking about the their plastic, and now they're doubling down, as you said on on the their uh, sustainable plastic. Yeah, right. And there was a. There was an article behind a paywall at one of the trade magazines that actually a friend of mine showed it to me. But 
that that Lego basically gave up on all that because they couldn't do it. Okay, that would uh, make sense. But I think part of the problem is is like so. I think they're doing it in some things. They've done something to the clear. The clear is actually oh, the clear looks terrible. Yeah, uh, the plasticky, rubbery type pieces. The, yeah. the you know like some of the trees and some of the other uh, minifig things. Uh, these these things here. You know, yeah. they, they're not ABS. And I think it's yeah. easier for them. Yeah, it's easier for them to put recycled material in there. But like a, for ABS plastic, it, like, a you know, it's a, I don't know that ABS is considered engineered like polycarbonate is, but <clears throat> you, you really can't put a lot of trash plastic in there. In it's got to be quality. fresh new plastic. Right. Or what, what a lot of times is considered dog food. The stuff that like when they m mold, they get the little pieces that come off or they get the little tree. I know they try to minimize as much of that as they can when they make the mold, but they're still going to piece. There's going to be, there's a name for that. The tree that that's on. <clears throat> they sprue? The sprue. Yes. There you go. They regrind that. And then that can go back into their process, but that is a finite amount of material. So they yeah. can't even, I mean, they, they're going to be able to claim that, but that's not going to be, they're going to have to find somebody else that's going to produce a compatible decent plastic that they're wasting to go into their product that's still going to be able to hold that quality up and not not screw up their colors and things like that i have a thought it, it's yeah. been working for 50 60 years why change yeah. well and i think that's the thing they're going to use a lot of inside baseball terminology that people are going to think, oh, they're really doing something. They're doing these sustainable things. Well, no, what they're trying to do is get rid of instructions. They're trying to buy back, like you buy back carbon credits if you're a great big energy producer. That might be why they're doing it, yeah. Right. And then they can say, oh, look, we've done all this. Uh, what was the thing about uh, pass it on for generations? They're going to try and take credits for those things and say, these are the things that we're doing. Okay, great. Those do all those things, but don't act like you're doing something special with the plastic. You're going to just keep moves using virgin ABS plastic. They keep telling me they're going to put paper bags in my sets, and they never do. They never do that either. Wait, they got to stop making the instructions first. Yeah. <laughs> because they got to come up with the paper. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if. Uh, that almost got to be a rant. Y'all so, almost got to be stirred up. So Alex had said that some of his land sets he had paper in because they came yeah. overseas. I wonder if they yeah. wonder if they still do. I noticed the two Wednesday sets that he just did it the did it, did it, did it, that he just did a video on. Um, they don't have uh, part counts and all the stuff that normally are on an American set. So they they usually, yeah, yeah, he he gets because it comes from his are coming from Denmark when right, he gets, yeah. That's what I'm saying. I wonder if his has plastic bags in them or. You know, I've never seen this video. Yeah. Uh, Johnny G, I like how you, you old guys that like that like Lego and are trying to retire. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Lego Five needs more, more old guys and less 20 year old female land members in the land. <laughs> uh, yeah, do they? Yeah. Do they really? I mean, I'm not that I, yeah, I don't know that they need us, is what I was going to say. We're, no, we're curmudgeons. They definitely don't need us. Yeah. No, they don't <laughs> need us. You're right about that. Yeah. But they definitely don't want us. That's there's the ticket. Uh, Kona Dog B, as always, great episode. Thanks again for shipping my orders quickly. I just sure. redid my whole Lego city, it's not that big. Mardi Gras Man 2 3, what do you think about the upcoming X Mansion? Looking forward to this Black Friday, even though I have no space for it. Yeah, I'm actually waiting on the X Mansion. I wonder if it's going to have a back. It's going to be Ooh. open back. Mm. Well, what I was wondering is it going to be? Is it modular? I haven't seen the pictures. Is it modular? Like I haven't the, seen. Uh, I don't think there's. Form? I don't think there's images released yet. Okay, I haven't seen. A lot of people before. say it's going to be like the kind of like the Sanctum Sanctorum, but the, with the piece count, it can't be that big. Oh, okay. I don't, hmm. I don't know. We'll see. I'm very interested. I think the next thing I'm going to get though is probably going to be the Batmobile. If I didn't already have the other one, I would be way What's on the there. other one. The, the smaller one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The one that came with the uh, Batcave. It had actually right. had minifigures with it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're talking about the one that that was with the Bat. I thought they made Wasn't another it? one. They made. No, they, they've got another one. They the got one, one that came separate from this bit, little bit bigger than the one in the Batcave set. 
Okay. Well, I think that's that. What that right? means is the one from the back. There's San Diego Comic Con one. Yeah, oh, that's that. a little bitty one. Yeah. That was the first one that came out though. Yeah. That came out before mm -hmm. the event. Yeah. So. I have no idea where the minifigures went. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's it. That's all the comments. That's all the comments. That was a lot of comments. It was a lot. I was noticing that we. Oh, I just got no. an email. Apparently, I just know I just authorized Nintendo to for the switches that nobody uses anymore. Boy, no. was that a that was awesome. Man, my daughter. What do we do with that, Brian? <laughs> <laughs> we wouldn't have our um, good train fires on our nine volt train regulators. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, that's that's another. It's like. I'll probably be dead before I get started on any of these projects. <laughs> but it's like I want to replace all my nine volt wires. Uh, I got, man, you you got so many good tutorials or just just videos of the things that interest you, and I think that's what I like about Brian's channel is like yes. he's just doing stuff that he likes, mm -hmm. and so that that enthusiasm for it comes out and. You like trains? It definitely comes through because the channels I watch, you can you can tell when somebody's genuine. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, or if the whole video is just a commercial. Yeah, well, <laughs> and, and so, and I, like you were talking earlier about your dilemma, like working with blue bricks. I think if you've built the credibility, mm -hmm. if you do stuff occasionally, people won't think twice about it. Uh, but man, I, I just saw one of these big YouTubers uh, just. The day before yesterday, yesterday, talking about how they had to take a video down because the sponsor didn't like it and they had to redo it. And I'm like, oh, my God. I was like, I don't uh, know. Yeah. <laughs> like, you'll just have to fire me as your. Well, uh, if that if your job is YouTube and that's your stream of income, yeah. then, yeah, you really ain't got any choices there. I don't want to get into that position. Yeah. Right. I don't want to be in that position. Yeah. This is not something that I would want to do as a job. And there's yeah, only so. so many sets I can, you know, like I said, space, but like, I, I wouldn't want to be a blue bricks channel. I don't want to do reviews yeah. as my yeah. YouTube channel. Yeah. Right. You know, they're going to happen and they're probably going to happen in batches like this. Um, just because I order, well, especially with them because it's flat rate, $35 shipping. So if oh, you order okay. five, six sets at a time. Yeah. And then I just, you know, I started working on them, got sidetracked, and then I came back to them recently. Um, but you know, I couldn't do that every week. I'd, I'd run out of mm -hmm. space. <laughs> right. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So this video is brought to you by NordVPN and Factor <laughs> Food. And uh, what, what's our uh, what's the other sponsors you see, everybody? Uh, uh, we, we're going to have a new Nebula series. <laughs> Did you see uh RR Slugger's video where he had a um it was like a classic space themed Nord like VPN service they, they were doing. I, oh, I missed uh, that. I wish I could remember what it was called. It was hilarious. It was a joke sponsorship. Yeah. But it was like Explorians were made their own VPN or whatever. Oh. It was. It was so good though. I wish yeah. I could, could remember what it was. Yeah, it just amazes me how many of the mainstream is that the right word for YouTubers that a lot of people watch? And they, this, they're all the same sponsors. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I guess they're getting a return. They're getting new customers, yeah. apparently. They keep doing it. You know, so let's, let's look at our sponsor list here. So, so I watch, uh, I watch, I'm watching Hulu. And you know what commercial comes up all the time on Hulu now? Rocket money. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about doing anti-sponsorships. Anti like, this is why I will not use NordVPN. This is why I don't. <laughs> Just remember, any advertising is good advertising. I know. So give it away. Uh, yeah, that's true. All right, so the, the one spoof one I would like. So have y'all? Do y'all ever get Chick-fil-A ads? I do because that's the only place I eat. Mm -hmm. Occasionally, but and then they're like, The thing I like about the spicy pimento cheese yeah. sandwich is <laughs> the pimento cheese. I'm like, <laughs> oh, the, thing I, the thing I like about the Chick fil A ones is at the end of the at the end of the commercial, it says, These are opinions, these are, are paid for opinions from a real customer. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like, what? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, 
I don't. Luckily, I just don't get that many ads. I got YouTube Premium, and that's oh, nice. and that's, yeah. that's yeah. it. So you only get in video ads that people do. You don't get. I'm talking yeah, about like, they have an ad in their video. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I typically don't watch a whole lot of channels that do that. I don't mind it. And there's some people. I've sent videos to my brother or to other people and be like, watch this ad read at two minutes in. It's hilarious. Like some people do yeah. that good of a job. Yeah. Yeah. Some people do do them where they work it into their video. It's kind of nonchalant. It's like, yeah. And then some people stop their video and it's like a insert clip commercial yeah. that they did. Yeah. Like a copy paste clip or something. Yeah, where they're just reading that. an ad read. Yeah. But some of them are I, so creative with it. it it's, actually enjoyable yeah a couple of them that i watch they always do their ads at the end and i leave yeah but yeah. ryan george i have no interest in any of the ads that he's done but his ad reads are actually funny yeah some of them are, are pretty good yeah yeah well and that's i if i was the if i was the person paying for the ad i would want them to you definitely don't want it at the end because nobody's going to it at the end. Yeah. Unlike our 20 percenters are still here, I'm sure. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> They're probably so, waiting yeah. for their homework assignment. <laughs> <laughs> it, your homework assignment is if you're seeing this video at this point and there's not a poll up about Space Spin, start spamming the comments. <laughs> yeah. And tell us what's your the most, what's the one ad that you always leave the video if you see the ad. Yeah. Oh, there are some that are so bad that it might be like the first third of the video and they start doing an ad read and I just won't even watch the rest of the video. It's like, yeah. and it might be people that I like watching and it's like, yeah. no, I'm done. Done. So, yeah. This, so uh, this video is brought to you by Brickzar, his Brickwink store, by Mark Drummond, <laughs> his Brickwink store, by Dr Brick Trains and his Brickwink store. <laughs> Today we have a special... I, I just uploaded uh, some bricks. So, <laughs> go buy them. You like bricks? Go buy them. <laughs> but, but anyway, where can we find battery powered bricks? What is it? Where is it? Where is he located? I'm on the YouTube's. I'm on the Instagrams, which I I'm horrible about updating there. It's YouTube, uh -huh. um, and uh, the Discord community. Yeah. I think we're up to like 400 people now. 400. Uh, so and, and, I'm, actually and I'm glad it has a very informative brick Discord thing. I'm glad it hasn't exploded. I yeah. like that it's a small, tight knit. I only talk about it at the end of videos. Four hundred is that. a small, tight knit. <laughs> yeah, for Discord. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, um, so I'll need to you to teach me how to not get notifications every time somebody posts something. <laughs> well, I when I first set it up, I did set it up to where you have to manually go in and and do that. But now. I changed that on my end. It depends on the server. That is a server side setting. I didn't know that. Okay. Um, but yeah, you can just, um, I think you can hold down if you're on a phone, long click on the whole server and say notifications off or only at mentions. Like it's okay. at bricks are. Okay. I, th I think you've probably had a few come up like at. That, so I haven't Facebook. looked because I, I don't get any discord notifications. And so I need to get back on. I, I like it to be like YouTube where, it's either a mention or I go to YouTube and then I just look at my, my feed. So yeah. I will get back on there. I'm sorry. I've yeah, been there there are some interesting stuff that we, that we could tag you in if there's something okay. you need to but say. Yeah, this, it was like my phone kept going off. Ding, ding, ding. ding. Yeah. I mean, like I, I'm just used to it. I go in yeah. for each, like some channels I want a notification every time. Mm -hmm. Some are only at mentions and other, you know, okay. it, I kind of go through it. I'm used to that going through and customizing for each server. Yeah. Some servers are just completely muted, and I just so, check in every once in a while. So one of my YouTube channels, actually, I still get email notifications if some, somebody leaves a comment. Oh, my. You're talking about that could be, like, overwhelming. I but fortunately, nobody watches that channel. So <laughs> Every comment, I get them. And then my other really? channel. Yeah. Uh, and maybe it's a setting. I don't know. But I've it is a setting on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. And if you're less than a thousand subscribers, you get an email for every new subscriber. Wow. Yeah, I have 16 in my email right now, my uh, YouTube email. I have 16. The, the interesting thing about that is somebody edits or changes their comment, you can still go back and see the original yeah. comment because yeah. you got the email. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So that's why I think, oh, I don't know how many times I, because I type on my phone and it's like, 
I get done, I'm like, what? Are, what? That's not what I said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I do that too. You fat finger it, and you, sometimes yep. you don't catch it. <laughs> yeah, well, we better go. Yeah. We better well, wake up early in the morning. Yep. Uh, we want to thank our, our, our um, good friend, Brian, from Battery Powers Bricks. Come back in 50 episodes, me. man. <laughs> <laughs> And and Joey, thanks for all for the awesome job you did editing out all the uh, cricket sounds. And Earl, thank you for the cricket sounds. <laughs> if you like this video, uh, check out all of our sponsors and hit the like button. <laughs> if you didn't, you just might be a nut. <laughs>